Good morning and welcome everybody to the Magic Kingdom. Happy November 7th, everybody. I am booking it down Main Street. The park is about to open in just mere minutes. And this morning, I have a purpose to get you guys on the Jingle Cruise before it gets crazy long. And since the park's about to open, normally we have a lot of fun here on Main Street, hang out for a bit. But the magic is calling. The Jingle Cruise is waiting for you. So let's get going, everybody. Welcome into the stream. This is your first time ever joining us here on an ear to ear magic live stream. My name is Chris. I am your Disney travel agent in the parks. And your camera operator this morning. Welcome into an exciting day here in the Magic Kingdom. It is crazy, madhouse. A lot of people here today. Oh boy, let's see which way we're gonna to try to go this way. If this is your first time ever joining us here at the Air Magic live stream, we stream from the parks every Monday through Friday and want you guys to join us. Jump into the chat and hang out with our magic crew. We've got a great group of people here who are part of our community, part of who we spend our days with every single day here in the park. So the park is now officially open. And we are rope dropping. If this is your first time ever joining us here on an Ear to Ear Magic live stream, we'd love for you guys to join our community. It doesn't cost anything at all. Just hit that subscribe button today. Make some friends. Jump into the chat. And we're glad that you could join us here in the parks. And if you guys are just jumping into today's stream, we'd love it if you take a couple of seconds. Hit that thumbs up button. Get some jet fuel into our stream. And see if YouTube will help us find a few friends here to help us have some fun in the Magic Kingdom today. Good morning, Sarah. Yes, we are on our way. We're going to fight our way down to the Jingle Cruise. One of the holiday Christmas overlays we have here in the Magic Kingdom. Extremely long lines for standbys like us. So I see a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party photo overlay. Oh, yeah. Hard it to the side. Good morning, George. How are you? Welcome in, Amanda. Welcome in. Good morning, Renee. How are you? Carol with us in the chat. Hello, Jill. Jill, official Run Disney runner. How are you doing today, Jill? Crystal's coming to Florida in, on Friday. Well, your countdown is single digits. Good morning, Scott. How are you today? Welcome in. Good morning, Widow King. How are you, my friend? We are here to help with the PDD. All right, we're going to jump immediately in our line here. This is our line. I don't 
going to meet Leo. Welcome in, Jeff. How are you doing today? Good morning, Jason. Disney Lisa in the chat. Good morning. Look at the line. <laughs> Good morning, Naomi. How are you? Good morning, Captain Good Guy. Welcome in. Waylib is in the chat. See him nowhere, man. Not lightning lane today. We're at a 35 minute wait right now, but the line is just completely behind us at this point. Good morning, Todd. Welcome in. <coughs> yes, Josh, we've got a few people here with us today. A few people. Good morning, Rachel. Welcome. Disney Houston, good morning. Welcome in, Russ Anderson. Robert Church is in the chat. How are you guys doing today? So can I join you? All right. I'll just join you in line then. All right. I just jumped line. We're going to get kicked out. It's all my fault. It's all fault. I'm a, I've been badly influenced by uh, our friend over here. Honk. Morning, crew. <laughs> Honk, is, Honk is here to get a few couple of metal pictures this morning and to get one good old ride on the Jingle Cruise. So. I figured I'm not going to be back till Princess, so what's the one thing that's not going to be here when I'm back from Princess? Jingle Cruise. That's true. That's true. Very much so. How you doing this morning? Good. How about the crew? Well, we're doing, uh, I, I think I wore everybody out. We just did a 5K from the uh, ferry boat to here <laughs> in about three minutes. Awesome. So, let's talk about crazy, but I've got my workout already. Disney family, happy Monday. Welcome in. Welcome in, Daniel. How are you doing today? Hello, Jim. KB got the rides, five new rides in one day last week. Did it without Genie Plus or Lightning Lanes. That's pretty sweet. Love Rise of the Resistance. That's a good day right there. Chris was like, how did you guys do the time change? It, it was barely a, a blip on our radar, but I called my brother yesterday and mentioned the time change. And he goes, that's what's been messed up all day long today. We've got our, uh, our, our tree out, our tropical tree. JG, Monday, Monday. Oh, oh. Good to see you, Ryan. Welcome in, Ronnie. Genial is here this morning. I want to make sure we get to say hello and welcome into all of our friends and that uh, join us here as in the Magic Crew. Welcome in, Alan. Good to have you in. And we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Thank you so much, Ryan. Ryan just tipped $10. Enjoy a coffee on me and have a magical day. Uh, after that run I just did through the front part of the Magic Kingdom, I, I was the first one off the ferry boat. And I stayed in front the entire time. <laughs> Went right up to an empty turnstile. I didn't even get to do my normal intro and walk in. We did not get to see the Christmas tree last week. So I was like, this needs to be a grand reveal. I'm like, nope, don't have time. Got to go, got to go. So some coffee might be very helpful a little bit later, a little caffeine. But thank you so much, Ryan. Greatly appreciate that. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel and the community. It might be. 
Love the music. Good morning, Antonio. Hey, we're still moving, so. Oh, it's not even a full queue. Sweet. It's, this could be a lot worse. <laughs> Welcome in, Islanders. Glad we can help you with that transition. And again, thank you guys for the thumbs up today. Um, not only do uh, those thumbs up help us in our current streams, but as all of our future streams for the rest of this week, the more likes we get, if you guys can help out, help us get to 100 on the rest of those. Now, you'll notice on our schedule today, I've got Thursday and Friday still seem to be a little blank on the actual streams. We've got some good weather coming in Thursday. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to take another consideration to see how Thursday and Friday are going to go before I lock it in. Uh, but you guys will see uh, we have um, we have a stream set up for in all the, all, every day this week. Uh, today, of course, we're going to be in the Magic Kingdom, starting off day off with the Jingle Cruise. Tomorrow, we're going to be at Hollywood Studios, which is already fully decorated for Christmas. Wednesday is going to be the official grand opening of the Grand Floridian Gingerbread House, so we will be there this morning. At the moment, there is not an official dedication ceremony like they normally do, but I hope that that's going to change between now and Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to be hopefully taking you guys to Animal Kingdom. Bring your poncho. It's going to be a wet one. 100% chance of rain. Uh, and Friday is going to be the opening of the Contemporary Gingerbread Castle. So at some point or another, we plan on taking you guys over there. So if you guys are a part of our regular crew and want to go ahead and find these streams on the channel this morning and hit the thumbs up. And uh, let's see if we can get the 100 likes on all five of our streams this week. So YouTube will start sharing the streams out and inviting some new friends to join us this morning. I'm loving it. Skippers have clearly have been busy. They have uh, been decorating over the weekend. They're jolly all the way. Jingle all the way, I guess I should say. We even got their uh, Santa hats in place of their normal hats. Now, our weather for today, uh, we do have an 80, uh, a high of 85 today. And I believe it's a, a low chance of rain, but maybe some in the afternoon, but mainly it's just going to be clouds. Tomorrow, the chance of rain will go up, leading ourselves all the way into Thursday, which is pretty much going to be rain, 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 rain. So we got another good storm coming in. I think we've, uh, we're watching a funnel at the moment, a cyclone to see if it gets pulled together. We'll never see him again. Now, if you look up, you can always see additional holiday decorations in the in the upper areas. Good morning, Leo. How are you? Very much so, Daniel. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna dust all everything off this later this week with a little bit of rain. Good morning, Nicole. Now I'd like to make a dedication of my own. The next song goes out to Real Two. Welcome in. The one and only Thank you. So Jordan, I hope you Patrick have an amazing setting of sale, onboarding process. Have a great week this week. Can't wait to hear about it later when you get back. Let's get back. John Bowen, welcome in. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Thorin. Welcome in. That doesn't look like mistletoe. 
Good morning, Karen. Um, you know, it said a 35 minute wait, but I think we're going to be on pretty fast. Good morning, Carol. Well, welcome in, Rob. We're going to see our Christmas overlay. It's one of the few uh, Christmas overlays we have here at Disney World. It's extremely popular, and you're going to find it lightning lanes and long, long lines. So. I want you to notice to your right, we're having a rope change. I don't think I've ever seen that in action before. Yvonne, welcome in. Happy Monday, Jordan. Welcome in, Patrick. So Lynn, we are getting ready to jingle on the Jungle Cruise. Our Christmas overlay. And again, thank you guys for all of the thumbs up today. Greatly appreciate that. Delandine, welcome in. The crew is clearly already into their turkey leftovers. <laughs> They're ready for it. Sarah says, can you can confirm that the Disney Starbucks tastes so much better than the Starbucks here? Oh, no. No, Sarah, no. Look at our roasted turkey, turkey pot pie, turkey sandwich, turkey soup, turkey jerky. Everybody wave goodbye to Isaac. Are those boxer shorts? Oh, those are some cold shorts. That's true, Sony. How about very much so? RMJ, good morning. I'm planning on rope dropping Magic Kingdom and closing Mickey's very Merry Christmas party. If I don't drink coffee, what can I order at the Main Street Starbucks for a midday caffeine boost? Well, if you don't drink coffee, Susan has lots of things she enjoys, including like a chai tea. I'll get you a refresher as well. Thank you, sir. That was lower than I was expecting to be. It did not meet me halfway. Let me get my bag out of your way, sir. <laughs> Meredith is going to help us carry in and bring in the usher in the holidays. I, I, I forgot the skipper's gift, Chris. I'm sorry. The what? The skipper's gift. Uh oh. I had one job. I, I may have purchased a Grinch gift last night. Buy an onion? Mm, not an onion. We are clear. Before we get started, though, I'd like to remind you to remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. Parents, watch your children, and children, watch your parents, and we are clear. Hi, guys. How's everyone doing? Good. Good. My name is Skipper Meredith, first name Skipper, last name Meredith, and I'll be your tree trimmer, your popcorn stringer, your stocking stuffer, and then, sir, you and me next two weeks, if you don't laugh at my jokes, your swimming instructor. Oh, but boy. Okay, cool. A decent amount of you guys. So for anyone that has to read it or 
yourself that might need what we might call here on the double a crash course don't worry for you i am an excellent skipper and i can be prepared and i have a copy right on up here for you guys in 3d <laughs> now by a show of hands who is hungry okay all right very good so for piranha we're going to be serving salmon if you want something lighter i do recommend the eel but um sir today uh for breakfast it's, it's uh, going to be piranha do you know how to eat a piranha no, you're going to want to eat it before it eats you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here we have one of my really good friends, Stanley. Yeah. Uh, but his scientific name is going to be really big snake. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. So, oh, my gosh. Just like going back Friday at Walmart, this place is trash. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, you got the tape to turn over. That was great. Thank you very much. Right, so it's all just like Santa. River, where it goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you don't believe me, you're in denial. Denial. Then it's a negative ghost writer. You are in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're going to be serving Niles and Niles. Alright, so we're and right on over here is going to be Jingle Bell Rock. <laughs> and now we're going to be hiding onto the African Bell. And don't worry, ever did grow out their winter coats, so there won't be any hypothermia. But there we have some long neck reindeers, the 69 Impalas, some stripy reindeers. And then right on over there, would you look at all those chickens? Yeah. But I have to level with you guys. That Works. 
stop. And yes, it is May calling me nervous that I might not make the nice list this year. Good morning, Jeremy. Welcome but, there. Uh, oh, look, presents. I think I was mistaken. This does not look like Santa's first stop. I did hear there's about a 500-pound kitty cat here, but don't worry. He is driving. He does not want to be spotted. <laughs> All right, guys, so we may drop you in the cave, but we'll catch you right back on the other side. Jingle Cruise. so much for that opportunity and i'm glad he got his hat Watch your head, 
Thank you, Skipper Dirt Meredith. Thank you. Woo. We made it, everybody. Man, that was good timing. Thank you to Honk, Calvin, for uh, helping us get into a jump line there. Before we go, I want to make sure I share with you guys what happens over here. We've got a few presents for some of the skippers, including George over here. Hannah's got something under the, well, whatever this is. And then I want you guys to know this is what their wish list is and uh, for the holidays. And Skipper Mary Kate is wishing for a 75% passenger return rate. Uh, we can all dream. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Welcome in, Pam. How are you doing today? It is a beautiful day in the parks. It is also extremely busy. Are these runners? I don't know. Are these people just excited to see the holidays come into the uh, parks? Uh, normally when I come into the park for parking, they have two lanes going into one side, either the villains or the heroes lot. This morning when I got in, they had two lanes on each side of the villains. So they were double capacity parking this morning. Um, so I, I knew something was going to be unique and fun about today. Now, before we jump too much further into the stream and uh, we get more to see more decorations and talk more about what's going to be happening. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, are you are you still good on time? I've got about 30 minutes and I got to need to hit the road. Let's, let's, let's give a try on Pirates. Let's see what right. happens. Um, but before we keep uh, going on and uh, talk about the holidays, I'd like to real quick talk about this past weekend. And we had a, a good amount of people from the Magic Crew coming in, either just for their own vacations or to run to run Disney races. And... It has always been my dream that one of these days we can start a running group that can run together, support one another in the same way we support each other in our streams. Is that the back of Pirates? Or is that the Lightning Lane? Either way, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, but this past weekend, a, uh, a dream of mine came to fruition by the fact that we actually had a whole group of people run together in the 5k and we had other magic crew members running in both the 10k and the half marathon this weekend for the 2022 run disney wine and dine half marathon weekend so it was a great weekend and uh i i wish i could have run more races i was able to register only for the 5k it's just 30 minutes so might be a little much you want to try it we have to get back to the back of the line i don't want to push you I probably need it. I've got to say, let's not let's not jump into that just yet. Yep. So, um, but what I wanted to do is, uh, hang on, let's come over to Tortuga for just a second. Um, Calvin is uh, one of the ones who, over the years, has really inspired me to continue to run and do Run Disney. And uh, I think it was a lot of fun to be able to run a race with everybody on Friday. Um, I was a little nervous because it was a first race for some. Sure. But I want to tell you what, these guys, they did amazing. Oh, Trey did a great job. Um, I, uh, matter of fact, I was the one who held them back. <laughs> they lost me because, of course, I'm holding back going, I got to look at this. I got to take a picture of this. I got to get a video of that. Um, but uh, we had a great time. And uh, what I wanted to do real quick. Good morning, Brianna. How are you? Onyx Chrono is in with us this morning. Good morning. Uh, as I wanted to just, uh, first of all, welcome in Bailey. I wanted to take just a second to recognize all those who came in uh, this past weekend um, and signed up, took that step um, to do a run Disney race. I know it's scary to do it the very first time, um, but you guys did it. You ran over that finish line and you did a great job. Um, so just for a second, what I wanted to do is just uh, 
recognize the people who run. We had people who ran virtually with us. That's true. Uh, yeah. Who ran the 5K at home or wherever they were at. Uh, they were here in spirit with us. And then we had people who were actually on the course. Uh, so for all of those who ran with us this weekend, uh, I just wanted to take this couple of seconds to say congratulations. You guys did a great job. And uh, watch this. It's only a matter of time before the Magic Crew all come together and cross the wide and dine 5K 2022 finish line. Congratulations. So many of you guys ran your very first ever run Disney race, which means you guys know you crossed the finish line. That's right. You did it. And I think that's probably, uh, we always always joke about the fact that the, the hardest part of a run Disney race is just showing up. Absolutely. And you will surprise yourself every time when you make it across that finish line. So again, congratulations to everybody who ran this past weekend. We hope that we have started a run Disney bug in your system. And uh, whereas the races, the first three sets of races for next year are already out. Yep. Um, there's, there are some of you who have already uh, registered for some of those. Uh, others that maybe, there may be some spots open here and there. The virtual is still open on some of the races, especially the princess. Yep, I think we saw princess. Yep. Not for you, Sarah. Um, but, Do it, Sarah. Do it. but we have not had registration for the 2023 wine and dine. What I would like to do is I would like to put that on our calendar as a group and as a community. And I would like to do this again next year and invite even more people to come run a 5K, a 10K, and a half marathon with us as a group, at least to support each other along the way. So uh, if you guys are interested, let us know. Keep your ears open. We'll continue to talk about it. We'll make sure that you guys are prepped and ready because we'd love for you guys to come here next November. Uh, and you'd be surprised how quickly the time flies by. It does. And I'll tell you, Chris, the uh, the dates for Wine and Dine for next year, even though registration is not open, the dates are out there. So if somebody wants to, to come in, and, I'm not off the top of my head, but we can get that out there for the team. So I say, we'll put it on the schedule. And if somebody wants to make a reservation, you can put down that $200 deposit. And, and go ahead and have the room. You've got your care. room. You know you've got everything locked in. If the price changes between now and then, you're good there. And all you got to do is worry about the rates. So we will get you guys primed and ready one way or the other. Uh, so let us know if you're interested. And uh, also, if you are if you would like, we actually have a running group, Instagram uh, chat group, that we just throw information back and forth. We support uh, everybody when it comes to information and also in training. Um, if you're interested in joining that group, uh, Sarah uh, in the chat is the one who created the group. And uh, Sarah can probably put her Instagram account in there. If you're interested, you can reach out to her and she can add you to the group as well. We continually get information about it. So, but again, congratulations to everybody who ran this weekend. And I'm telling you what, I'm proud of you guys. You did a great job. And uh, I hope you uh, know that you earned that medal and uh, wear it proudly. And we hope it's just the first of many. So, shall we? Uh, what, how about this? You want to just make a loop around and yeah, we can do that. Before, you, before you head yeah, out? Did you get your? Uh, did you get all your? Yeah, uh, I got in early this morning. Got my photos real quick. Adam. 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 
would be a lot easier to uh, do that before park opening than later. So we've got a chance to jump in and take care of that first thing. There we go. Sarah says that is her uh, Instagram handle. It is Disney underscore obsessed, appropriately named, <laughs> 9205 on Instagram. Message uh, Sarah under that handle. And uh, let her know you'd like to be a part of our running group chat. And uh, that chat will keep you up when the registration opens for next year's Wine and Dine. Uh, and also between Calvin and a few others, they'll let you know when another race that's already for the marathon, the princess, or the spring surprise may open up. Be ready to jump on that quickly. And we don't know dates or other details yet, but Disney has also announced that Disneyland races are coming back for the first time in a number of years. It's, uh, I think, since, uh, what, 2017? Uh, probably. Somewhere Something around like there. That. Yep. Uh, when they started to build uh, Star Wars Land. Yep. So we're excited to see what the details are going to be there. And there, you know, for those of you out there that have to have a, a piece of uh, metal at the end of a race to congratulate you and motivate you, there uh, traditionally Disney has offered uh, opportunities where if people run races on both coasts, you can actually get an additional medal as long as you run at least a half marathon on both coasts in the same calendar. Year. So a coast to coast medal. Coast to coast medal. Um, I would love to do a. Uh, I would love to do a Disneyland race. So, of course, I just love to go to Disneyland. There's that. <laughs> so Shannon B says next November was my 30th birthday. Maybe I should do my first run Disney race. Uh, well, if you're looking for anybody to tell you no, uh, you're in the wrong group because yes, we're, <laughs> we're going to push you all the way to try that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Gabriel ran his first race. Uh, Jill ran their first race. Uh, I think Steven ran his first. Uh, so, you know, it's a lot of fun. I mean, for those that are thinking about, you know, can I do this and, and should I do this? I will say, you know, not only do you get the benefit of a great Disney vacation to you know, kind of encourage you to come down and have this experience, but Disney does a really good job of just running the races themselves. The water stops are where they tell you they're going to be, and you know they're going to you know, be some. Uh, the medical uh, personnel on the course is fantastic. You know, we saw any number of mobile paramedics, medical stations, and any number of other people there to assist runners. I feel very comfortable when I decide I'm going to pass out that someone will be there to help me Absolutely. out. Absolutely. They'll stop so. your running watch first, but yeah, <laughs> then they will make sure you get, they render aid. So hang on. I got I to gotta show you guys this hat over here. So I've showed you this before, but Jordan is getting on the Disney Wish today with his son Patrick. And uh, Patrick saw this hat yesterday and said, uh, yeah, I'm getting this hat. And he got it. He's a man of his word. Part copying is my cardio. <laughs> this is a true statement. So the perfect hat. I saw it. I'm like, yep, I got to show that. So wear it, uh, wear it proudly there, Patrick. Uh, Chris, one thing we didn't know about the medals this weekend. So the challenge medal for... Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump on this side so I can get some sunshine so on it. The challenge medal for people that ran the 10K and the half was sponsored by Genie. It wasn't until I got to the post-race party last night that somebody told us to turn it over and find out that we only had two wishes left. <laughs> I'm here. You only have two. Here, well, and, you I, know. I, I love that. I love the way that it opens up like that. Yeah. So that's the challenge medal when you ran both the 10K and the half. Yes. Uh, you got that medal if you sign up for the challenge. That is that voice of temptation that Disney puts out there to say, don't just sign up for one race, sign up for a couple. Well, um, Calvin uh, has, uh, has uh, volunteered me to do my very first challenge ever for the spring surprise. So this guy has got to start getting in shape because uh, I'm going to be running all three races for the spring surprise. Surprise! <laughs> surprise! The only surprise I'm going to have is when I cross all three finish lines. You got That's this. going to be the surprise. <laughs> Good morning, Maribel. How are you? I think I saw James in here as well. Good morning. Princess Lisa. Oh, you ran with us virtually too? I'm glad you could. I'm glad that we could uh, do that with... Uh, our live stream. There's a lot of people who've never seen a run Disney race. 
and not sure what it was like. And I thought it was just kind of important to share. I will say this. Um, I felt good, but also bad about something. Saturday morning, I got a message early, early in the morning okay. from someone who says, I loved your 5K live stream. Um, I'm trying to find your 10K. Oh, no. And so they were looking forward to watching the 10K and the half be streamed as well. Oh. So maybe that's something I should work my way, my way up to, um, to providing some longer races streams. I don't know if I'm going to be able to chat and to be as inter interactive <laughs> on the longer races, but uh, that's something we can definitely work up to. Good morning, Pete. How is the weather up there in uh, Iowa at the moment? I, um, I know we had some hot weather over the weekend but I know we have also a lot of a lot of our crew went back home either uh, Saturday or yesterday I'm talking about it. it's weird to go back to to other weather. So we would have appreciated some other weather about the time the sun came up yesterday. Oh morning. my goodness. Uh, you guys got rained out a little bit, right? We did. We get a little bit of rain while we were waiting to uh, start the race and then we uh, eventually got things going and uh, by about mile three or four, it is let up. I get a, for those who are joining us for the very first time this morning, welcome to Walt Disney World. We are live here from the Walt Disney World Resort this morning in the Magic Kingdom. And just kind of taking it all in. We've got lots of uh, decor that was not here and out when we were here last Tuesday. So are you uh, on, your, on your way out? Yeah, I'm going to start heading toward the airport. I've got a, uh, a 1 o'clock flight, so if I hurry, I might be able to catch the end of the stream while I'm waiting on my plane. So I am going to walk you out because we've got to go see a yeah. man about a tree. Yes. Um, I cannot believe I ran past that tree. <laughs> I did. I ran past the tree. We wanted that tree so badly last week when I was here, and it wasn't here. So FM ever after, Frank did, all, uh, did both the 10K. And the uh, half did the um, the challenge, the, and uh, Missy did the 10K. Yeah. But you and Frank got rained on yesterday. Just a little. It was actually it felt really nice. I was about to say, was it a cold rain? Because sometimes a little cold rain will be kind of good. It, when it started, while we were in the corrals waiting, it was a little chilly. But once we got moving, it was actually very well. Good morning, Joey DeLuca. How are you? Welcome in. All right. I feel like I need to check and see if I can get a uh, happy holidays from our uh, statues here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Shannon says, uh, went back to watch an old live stream from like early in 22 before they found our channel. And a day we were in Epcot, the day they were in Epcot, and they saw themselves on the stream. Oh, fun. Now, we've got full-on Christmas carols everywhere around here. So, we're going to be taking you guys not only to listen to some of the music, we're going to go check out the tree and the toy soldiers as well. Place our pumpkins with greens. Yes, our uh, our Cinderella pumpkins are gone. Let's see if I can get a, a holiday message out of them. Not quite yet. Not quite in the holiday spirit. I'm expecting it to happen though eventually. The Halloween one didn't happen immediately. The rest of the park is definitely in the holiday spirit. You can smell the, the peppermint coming out of places this morning. Oh, I've heard the peppermint's already arrived in Starbucks. I may have to I may have to stop in and mint myself up. So Disney does something special with the wine and dine weekend, Chris, relative to folks that may be thinking about doing it for this next year. 
if you do the half marathon, you get a ticket to a special event that is at Epcot. So they uh, they have the regular theme park day at Epcot, and then about nine o'clock, the park has harmonious and starts to close. So I, I thought that ticket was an additional cost, but you got it included with the half? Included with the half. Oh, wow. Okay. Plus, plus $15 to spend on food and drink. Now That's not bad. And the people can buy the tickets, though, if they wanted to, right? Yeah, How much so, is that ticket? Uh, I think it's about $80. So $80 plus $15. It's about a $95 value. Thereabouts. But here was the real value that I had last week. They had Guardians of the Galaxy over there. Stand by. And see, they don't have standby for Guardians. You have only virtual. So how did, how, what was your standby wait last night? We were off the ride 36 minutes after we got in line. Oh, wow. And had I wanted to, I could have gone back and ridden at least once or twice more. But the real, the real question is, is what song did you get? We got September last night, which was a great time. <laughs> no, I'm not a photographer, sorry. She wanted me to take her to their picture. <laughs> I kind of look official sometimes. I get asked that at least once a week. And I'll take their picture, too, just not oh, with yeah. my camera. <laughs> that gets awkward. I mean, I can take it with my picture, but I don't know how I'd get it to them. So you uh, you got the ride, um, your second ride on Guardians. Second ride on Guardians, which was a blast. The uh, food and wine kiosks had much shorter waits for the party than they had had. I feel I feel I feel weekend. almost like I should uh, I feel obligated to share every with everybody your first ride <laughs> on Guardians. <laughs> Hang on, let's go. Let's let's walk through the shade. Wait, there's no photographic evidence of that. There's no photographic evidence of that. That's I'm sure. Um, but you got to ride it for the very first time um, on Saturday, right? Yeah, yeah, Saturday. Uh, got a. Literally got my virtual queue as I was getting off the uh, bus back at the resort to uh, from from having completed the 10k, and it was it was funny being out on the half marathon yesterday morning because obviously a longer race you're running a little bit slower likely if you've run most of the other races, so uh, you know there were people on the course at seven o'clock when the virtual queue windows and the Genie Plus windows opened. Oh, so they're like running and getting. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you could chip yourself up big time. I, I have done that myself. I did that one time with a Rise of the Resistance uh, queue. Uh, matter of fact, I think it was Marathon Weekend this year. We were coming across the boardwalk when 7 o'clock hit. So I was on. I've been in some weird spots when you have to do that. Um, but you do what you got to do to get on yeah. these rides. You got to stop. You got to do um, it. Oh, we got, we got some nice per Christmas merch showing up here. Where or where or where? Oh, you lucked up. I can't find it. <laughs> I, I, I was going to share it. I was going to share it. So, by the way, if you don't like Joy, then you're not going to like any of the Christmas merch this year. <laughs> Is it all about it's Joy? Kiss? Joy, Joy. Have you, I mean, seriously, have you looked at it? It's like, oh my goodness. Joy to the world. <laughs> it's everywhere. Good morning and welcome in, HM and Pam. Good to see you, Megan. How are you guys doing today? But yeah, so if folks are thinking about coming down for the wine and dine next year, that may be another thing that kind of gives them some incentive to think about that race. It is one of the more expensive races because of that benefit, but it is definitely a benefit. But did you? Did I know that the price has always been a little higher? Did the race price go up now that they added that benefit, or has that benefit always been there? That benefit's been there for quite some time. Okay, I just um, wasn't aware of it. I actually made a mistake the first year I came down and didn't know about it and had planned my flight back for Sunday afternoon. And I, I've learned my lesson since and typically try to leave out on Monday so I get a chance to at least go to part of the party. Although I will say after a time change and running three races over the weekend, you know, you're you're definitely looking for that bed come about 11 o'clock. Yeah. Party yeah. goes until one, but... Uh, Dave, Dave says, does, does anybody go to work anymore? <laughs> there's a lot, there's a ton of people here. Look at this place. It, but, you know, just like the people who are running the races this weekend, a lot of people took time off. And uh, I expect that today is going to be a little busier than normal. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. We're going to be back over at Hollywood Studios for tomorrow's stream. And I expect that we'll be back here on Wednesday because uh, that is the official day of uh, the uh, Gingerbread House. 
opening up at the Grand Floridian. So we'll take you guys back over there to see that opening up, try a few gingerbread treats and all the stuff that's going on. So look at our friends up top. They all came out to say goodbye to Calvin before he heads out for the airport today. It's the whole crew up there. Don't worry, they'll they'll keep calling you. <laughs> they do that. They do. They'll call you back. They were doing it on the course yesterday. The magic was calling if you went through the Epcot turn. Uh, toll booth. Well, that's got to be weird to run through a, to run through toll booths. Scan my magic band, and you want some resort guests. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a little bit of shade so we can see these guys a little better. Oh. Ooh. Ha, it's Mickey, <laughs> Minnie, Goofy, Chip and Dale. Man, the number one Doug Donald. And the real number one Doug Daisy. Yeah. You know, he's really only the number one Doug because he sells more comic books than any other non-superhero comic book character ever in the history of comic books. Yes, uh, uh, count outside of superheroes, Donald Duck is the number one comic book seller. And uh, the duck has made millions. All right, crew, I am out. Well, thank you uh, for running and for being a part of the Runner's Weekend. Congratulations on your races. Have a safe travels. Absolutely. And uh, everybody, you'll see Calvin back in the chat, I'm sure. Absolutely. So. And, uh, we'll see you. I'll be back in the chat come Wednesday. Got a little civic duty tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you back in chat Wednesday. Everybody have a great week. Well done. We'll and, see you at the gingerbread uh, house then. The the there we go. <laughs> see you real soon, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Travel safely, my friend. Good morning, Randy. How are you, my friend? We were we were talking about you this weekend. How did you? Uh, I I was under the impression that you were going to be doing a virtual run, and we were wondering how things were going. I hope you're doing well. Did you get a chance to run? Hi, there's 84. Do I have a favorite park? It's between Magic Kingdom and Epcot. You gotta love Magic Kingdom for what it is and how it started it all. But you gotta love Epcot too for the food festivals and all the other stuff you can have fun doing there. Good morning, John. How are you? You're, you know what, dude, you are totally right. I totally forgot. Jersey week. That happens in November. We're in November. Dude, I'm so glad you mentioned that, John. I have been racking my brain about that all morning. You guys want to say goodbye to them? I'm going to go over this way. All right, let's come over this way, guys. We'll say goodbye to them. G Mama's in the chat. How you doing this morning, G Mama? We'll say goodbye. We'll just say goodbye, our friends over here. Good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you? Doing good. You want to scooch over? I can. I can. Oh no, you're fine. Back. Eventually, I'm going to go up and okay. over. <laughs> There's plenty of room. I always make spaces. Eventually, they'll have somebody. The little one come up. I want to make sure the little ones can see. Like try to keep an eye out, like because again they'll, they'll catch it, and then you want them. Okay. It'll happen when they start making their way down. You'll find a few of them. So this is where our character friends are going to be coming down. So. <laughs> I'll I'll bring some friends over. Look who's coming down, guys. Yeah. Look at it. Oh my gosh, go. Come on. 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 Come on.
Got a stick. He's got. He's, he's a chipmunk with a stick. <laughs> awesome. You gave me the right time. You gave me the right time. Yeah, that was so lucky. <laughs> oh, that was fun. So as we walked in, or as we walked up, there was another family walking in. They were looking straight ahead. I walked, I leaned back and I said, come here, come here, come here. And they're like, I don't know you. I'm like, no, no, come here. You're going to want to come here. They got all, they got high fives from the characters. Sometimes it helps to take advice from a last minute stranger. It was so nice to have somebody other than me on the stream for once, wasn't it? Good morning and welcome in back. Good morning, Paul. Welcome in. UCF mom, good morning from Central Florida. It's a beautiful day this morning. Good morning, Kathy. I think we've got you taken care of, right? I believe so. Let me know if there's something that we have still we can help out with. And how was your trip this past week? So that was so cool because the family had just walked in. So, and all of those guys got high fives from the characters on the from the first five minutes they walked into the park. I mean, that's kind of part of it, guys, to share the magic. And sometimes you got to step out of the way and let somebody else have a little bit of joy and a little bit of magic that goes along with it. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up today. You guys are amazing. And the crew knows how important that is to the analytics and algorithms of YouTube of bringing new people and new friends into the parks with us today. So if you guys are with us on a regular basis, that thumbs up is an open invitation. That's it, to bring more people in and for YouTube to invite others to come and join us here in the parks every single weekday. Good morning, Sorcerer Mickey. Hello, Kurt Finn, how are you? Welcome in, Melanie. Good to see you guys, and thank you guys for joining the chat today. I think I, I think that was one that was uh, in the mix, and we should have that one clinched for you today. Good morning, Big Owl. Welcome in, Eddie. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Calvin, Calvin jumped into the chat. Let's do a scientific experiment. Just watching the stream help reduce post Disney depression as you ride the monorail away from the MK. Dude, you're going to bring everybody down. <laughs> Sarah got to see the tree for the first day when her first day uh, into the Magic Kingdom last week. That's uh, unusual because usually everything shows up after her and Jill uh, leave. So. Good morning, Brian. So our tree is up. Let's take just a couple minutes to kind of bring that one in. Good morning, Marty. Thank you for ninja watching. And to all of our ninja watchers, thank you guys so much for making it possible to do what we do. So I'm gonna back it up a little bit. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite spots to take photos. I'm giving you guys this photo spot. When you come in, take advantage of it. This archway right here, 
if you lean down just right, you do a wide angle shot, turn your phone vertical. One of my favorite spots to, to shoot during the holidays. There's some giant popcorn on that garland. I'm going to have to go back and check some of my older photos. I, I feel like some of these uh, decorations are brand new. They at least have done a good job of uh, making them look new again. And of course, you've got plenty of presents down below. We got our train. Good morning, Michelle. How are you? Oh, we missed the Osborne family lights. Spectacle of dancing lights. What a great show. That's one of the things I truly, truly miss. Other things are like, oh, I'm, I remember that, and other things have replaced it. I'm sorry, but nothing, nothing has yet to replace the Osborne family spectacle of dancing lights. Well, Miss Lady. Hello, Miss Lady. You wanted the doll back? That uh, dolls creep me out like that. <laughs> Beck says my house is Christmas fied. I'm jealous, dude. We haven't Christmas fied our, our, our place just yet. We didn't really get the Halloweenify ours either. I think we need to spend some time doing that. Good morning and welcome in, Angela. Oh man, those lights. That, I got goosebumps watching those lights every single time, Kathy. Uh, for people who've never been completely engulfed at a fully immersive light show, so Bailey is referring to something we call the dream lights the dream lights haven't been around since the last time has been 2019 actually 2020 we had a uh oh we don't talk about 2020 i mean a lot of things didn't come back in 2020 and of course 2021 october 1st of 2021 we started our 50th anniversary which means we had special castle adornments which prevented the dream lights from coming back and the 50th anniversary is going on until March 31st of 2023. So we won't get dream lights again this year. Crossing our fingers that the dream lights will come back in 2023. That would be great. So Anna Trina, my daughter would be very happy with that. She is really upset. She loves Halloween. She's okay. She was, I think she was most upset when it took so long. All right, so quickly for uh, it didn't take any time at all for Halloween to just disappear. Oh, India is at MK today. Well, if India come find us and come say hello. One of the, we saw so many of our magic crew over this past week. It was just an amazing week, and our meetup. Oh, guys, our meetup this past week was a lot of fun. If you guys follow us on Instagram, I posted a photo of uh, almost everybody. We had a few people who unfortunately 
uh, were either gone before or right at, showed up right after our group photo. Um, that was so much fun. You have our permission, Mount Sears and Beers. No, we don't talk about 2020. We made it through, but we don't talk about it. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Shall we go look at some uh, sweet treats? I need to go get myself some peppermint something at Starbucks in just a second. Welcome in, Lee Walker. Happy Monday. Can I just say, Lee Walker, that um, since I have started streaming with you guys these past two years, um, every Monday has become a joy and absolute pleasure to be a part of. So when you say happy Monday, it does not have the old feelings that the old Mondays used to have. So we have a saying around here. We're trying to redefine the phrase. Looks like you have a case of the Mondays. Because I hope that with our streams, between you guys being in it, I know on my side, and you guys being a part of it, you can really make a big difference in the Monday. So, happy Monday. Look, it's mini. It's a mini reindeer. Oh, that's cute. That's awesome, Judy Brian. Treats. Uh, I was wondering. We I actually kept an eye out for you, Jeff. I was hoping you would make it, but you know what? Um, after walking by Beer Garden on Saturday and smelling the food that was inside, I don't blame you a bit for sticking where you were at and enjoying a good meal. I hope it was wonderful. Welcome in, Mike Trout. Look at that cute white eagle. I don't know, guys. We may have to try a reindeer, a snow reindeer apple sometime this season. Now this one here, I think it's a reindeer. Look at the little antlers on top. Wow, wow, wow. I'm torturing my, I'm torturing you and I'm torturing myself as well. All right, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> welcome in everybody. If you're just joining us this morning on the live stream, welcome to Walt Disney World, live from the Walt Disney World Resort here in the Magic Kingdom. This is our first of Monday with all of the decorations fully up and ready. We have Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party starting this week. Oh my gosh, there's only two days left in the month of November where party tickets are available for purchase. And uh, those party tickets are $179. I think they're either $169 or $179 a night. But there are still two dates available in the month. Last time I checked, we'll see if that changes. As always, if you guys are coming to the parks, even if you haven't booked the rest of your vacation with us, if you would like us to help you purchase your Mickey's Fair Merry Christmas party, we're welcome to do so. We'll be glad to help you guys out. And as always, if we can help you when it comes to answering any of your questions about Disney, travel, promotions, or helping you book and plan your vacation with no fees whatsoever, Knowing that you have someone who knows a little bit about the parks, reach out and send us an email. Chris Edwards at Travelmation.net and Susan Edwards at Travelmation.net. And uh, we'll be glad to help you guys book. And then with our name on your reservation, we can help you with all the other things that come about when it comes to your vacation. Now, I'm going to jump across. We're going to look at some Christmas uh, merchandise again for those who may have missed it last week. First, I'm going to stand underneath the best air conditioning vent in all of Magic Kingdom. <sighs> that feels good. 
<laughs> I don't make it easy do it. Me and my life, I do not make it easy. Oh, Clarice. I haven't seen. I barely got in on Halloween specials. I have to do a better job of uh, getting our classic Christmas stuff in before it's too too late into the season. Of course, now when I think of Clarice, I don't think of the the reindeer. I think of, you know, Silence of the Lambs, which is not nearly as festive. Good morning, Smoking Coin. How are you? Uh, I think it is an ashtray, actually. it's. I guess they would call it a jewelry tray. But it's, you know, this is stuff that's retro of the 70s. So, yeah, I think it was an ashtray. New arrival, this just in, Skyliner, Dooney, and Burke. Any Dooney and Burke collectors out there? Let's see what the bottom looks like. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Find a price tag on this guy. He is 298. John's like Christmas party 12 1. What a way to start in the December months, getting you fully into it. I don't know if we're gonna make it to a Mickey's very Merry Christmas party. It's all it's all based on finances. Um, but we'll, if if that if that comes about, we'd love to take you guys over and to share it. But if not, we'll we we'll still fill as much as we can as far as what the holiday has to offer here at the uh, at the parks, both here at Walt Disney World and Universal. And don't forget, we've already got our streams up for the rest of the week. Even though two of them are blank at the moment, you guys have been onto the channel already, you will see. Um, but I do have um, us being here, of course, in the Magic Kingdom today. Tomorrow we're going to be at Hollywood Studios to show you all of the Christmas decor because it is up. It looks beautiful and ready to go. Wednesday, we're going to be over at the Grand Floridian and back here at the Magic Kingdom. But the Grand Floridian's uh, gingerbread house will be um, opened up fully come uh, Wednesday morning. So we're going to take you guys over there for that. Try a little bit of gingerbread treats. Thursday, back over at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And Friday is going to be the opening of the Contemporaries Gingerbread. So we're going to take you guys over to the Contemporary. And who, kn who, who knows where else we may end up going. Uh, maybe do a little bit of resort hopping and checking out some other things over uh, on Friday. So if you guys are part of our crew and would like to help us get that jet fuel in the jet pack for this week, go over to these streams. That's today's and all through to Friday. Hit the thumbs up. We're going to try to see, like we always do on Mondays, can you guys get us to 100 likes? We need 100 of you guys just to take a couple of seconds and go through each of our streams this week and just hit the thumbs up. 100 likes tells YouTube to start sharing out what we have and inviting others. So we're hoping you guys can help us hit that this af uh, this, this morning and this afternoon. Today's weather, of course, a uh, high of 85. So we're still very much in the hotness, but it kind of helps to have all the Christmas trees and lights and decorations to kind of take away from that. So Oh, I hope it gets to be better before your uh, your trip coming up, John. So, Mike Trout, all of the items that we use in our uh, equipment, they're all located. There's uh, links, Amazon links, and for each of those down into the description of our videos. If you guys are already ever interested in that. This is the anchor. This is Floaty. Floaty goes everywhere with us. Floaty's about four, four and a half pounds and uh, keeps the batteries going all day long. You can charge up the three devices at a time, which is great if I ever have to charge up my first, my second, and uh, my gimbal all at the same time. So 
If you guys are always ever interested in knowing what equipment we use for streaming and would like to have something similar, just go to the description at the bottom of our videos and you can check it out. All right, so who has $150 in their pocket and like, I don't know what to do with this $150. You can grab yourselves a Disney Nuimos 12 day advent calendar with 12 Nuimos hidden away in the advent calendar. No clue as to what's in here, except that I think there's a Mickey and there's a Minnie. And uh, man, what a, what a huge gift because those things usually run what about fifteen, sixteen dollars? And you get twelve of them. And crew, the lunch poll is up. Remember, you can use references in the chats like one, two, or three, but don't mention what the foods or the locations are. I can't see the poll, everybody. It's a complete surprise to me. So choose your favorite in the poll, make your vote count, and make a determination as to where we go to have lunch today. And Anthony is really excited about number two. I don't know which one that is, but... Now we the world has had that anchor since 2016. I will tell you this though, um, now viewing the world, as much as I use this, I charge and drain this battery at least five, if not six, and sometimes every single day of the week. And I, after about a year, um, I wear it out a little bit, <laughs> but I put a lot of good use into it, but they're really great for charging. They charge fast. And when they're working and they're connected, your devices stay charged. Awesome, Green Giant. Thank you so much. Jeremy's going to jump up on the uh, stump and start getting people to vote for the for the right option, right? It's snowing. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When you finally kiss goodnight. And your ears are rattling around. Got some snow inside. Very bright green, like a spearmint green. I love these. They're a little bit more expensive. I don't know who's uh, come along. They're fifty-four dollars, but they're very nice looking. Hello, how are you? Oh, hi. Well, come on. Yeah, let's do that. Let me let me turn this this comment off here so everybody can say hello. I love the ears. Very nice. Are you ready for some gingerbread this season? So, how are you guys doing? Uh, did you guys just get here? You been? So you guys are like this is the first time you yeah. get to see any of the decorations yeah. and stuff so far. And uh, how long are you guys here for? Uh, we go back home tomorrow. Just a short little trip, enough to get it in there and just to just pack it all in. So. Uh, is there anything in particular you guys are looking forward to do today? Awesome. Are you guys? Do you like the Seven Doors Mine Train? What's your favorite ride in the Magic Kingdom? It's a small world. It's a small world. Wow, that's kind of cool. Not a lot of people say they like it's a small world. They're like, no, it's uh, just a song over and over again. It's very relaxing. It's very relaxing. Is there anybody you like to say hello to back home? Now let's do it this way. I'm going to come on this side because I got that bright light right there. I want everybody to be able to see your ears perfectly. Oh, that's so much better. So who would you like to say hello to back home? I would just say hello to everybody. Oh. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Terry. You're probably watching. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, you guys make the most of it. Get as Do as much as you can. And remember, you got to get some treats, too. Yep. Rides are good, but treats are important. Yep. So... But thank you guys for saying hi and uh, have fun. And if you uh, if you see me again, if you ride some rides, come over and tell me how it was, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> have fun. 
I love seeing some of our community in the parks. And if you guys ever do see me streaming, come over and say hello. It really is important to me to know that these are real people having real good times and real families and real groups. So feel free to come over and say hello when you come into the parks. I love the simplicity of it. I know it's only a one color design. It's $34.99 for the picture. Oh, it's the number one duck. I hope she can I hope she can come back over. I, I think she's I thought she said she was getting ready to go right seven drawers. I'm like, oh please go ride it. Come back and say hello again. <laughs> That's so cool. Love meeting you guys. And uh, I wish I looked that adorable in gingerbread ears. I just like, I have to wear at least two or three ears to get even close to that. So And the bag is awesome. The price tag is also. <laughs> it's a big bag, but the price tag is even bigger. Welcome in, Hatbox Ghost. Hatbox Ghost, did you make it in time to say hello to India? And India, thank you so much for popping in and say hi. Seriously, though, when you guys go ride some rides, you find me again. Come over and let me know how it is. I need an update from the princess. All right, so if you don't like joy, <laughs> joy, 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 joy. Welcome to LP Disney. It's hanging a lightning ball. Uh, just a little, just a, a little bit of a snag. JG, thank you so much for the super chat. What can I say except thank you for the super chat? Yeah, we've got a lot of plaid designs this year, which I like plaid. But like I said, a lot of joy. A lot of joy. I haven't. I was actually going to look at some of the Christmas stuff first and then go over in the seat belt grabbing a uh, peppermint something. You guys want to go get some peppermint something with me? What do you guys recommend? Susan popped in an idea earlier that was non-coffee. Was it a white chocolate? A white hot chocolate? Or we even get a peppermint hot chocolate. Welcome in, Doodle Bob. Congratulations on your run. All right, let's make our way over. We are uh, getting farther along on our new bricks coming in getting there all right 
right, let's see if we can make our way in the Starbucks. We had a very generous PayPal this morning that said, go get yourself something to drink. I have not had any of the new holiday flavors at Starbucks since they arrived last week. So let's go in and see what we can find over here at the Main Street Bakery. Hello. Hello. Guy says you can get a white hot chocolate, a peppermint hot chocolate, a regular one with any syrup. I, I like a raspberry hot chocolate. Ooh, raspberry hot chocolate. I, I can't say I've ever had a raspberry hot chocolate. That sounds pretty good. I like something I should get for Liberty. Joe said I had the ice sugar cookie with almond milk latte. Is that like a fish? That is, it's actually on the menu. Ice sugar cookie almond milk latte, a peppermint mocha. Uh, is that a frappuccino? And then the caramel brulee latte. All right, and I need to check with my wife to see whether or not we have anything on the app. I get in trouble if I don't bring out the Starbucks app. <laughs> Checking the app. Gonna check the app. Gonna have the app. Gonna check the app. I myself, I'm a venti caramel brulee latte. Eight, eight pumps. Eight, that's like the whole cup, isn't it? That's a lot of pumps. That's, <laughs> I get nervous when I start adding more pumps. So I don't find a, I don't find a card I can use. We'll see. Four hundred and twenty-eight likes, guys. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up today. Greatly appreciate that. And thank you guys for being a community who is welcoming and desires to have other people come and join the party. And if you're watching for the very first time today, we'd love for you guys to be a part of the crew. We do this every Monday through Friday. Very supportive group of people to do this. And uh, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, jump into the chat. And you're going to find somebody you're going to make a connection with. We'd love to have you guys come back and be a part of it. And by hitting that thumbs up, that means that um, we want other people to come in. So that's how we grow as a community. And thank you guys for that on a regular basis. I am all over the chat this morning, so sorry. Oh, well, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Hey, Jim and Pam says, here's $10. Get you something real nice, Clark. That's Starbucks. <laughs> Thank you, hey, Jim and Pam. Hang on, that one, that one actually deserves, uh, that one deserves an actual audio visual. So, get yourself something real nice. So, thank you, HM and fam, and uh, appreciate appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for the PayPal. <laughs> I just noticed that I think that was on on a streaming service with HBO Max. 
that showed up on HBO Max, I'm like, sweet. That's good. I'm gonna have to be watching that a few times this season. Greg's gonna be here in 40 days. 40 day dance. Welcome in, Siste. How are you doing today? Ten, three more days are going to be at Epcot. Well, I hope we're going to get to see you over sometime this week. Uh, Sarah says, I had the Irish cream cold brew in Hollywood. It was perfection. The three peppermint mochas since my chip. This is my season of addiction. Really? This is your season? This is your season? What, that one between January and December? Nadine, we're gonna be here in 30 days. Welcome in, Nadine. And Miranda. Really nice in the park here when all the decorations are up. So. so let me turn this back around for a moment. I'm gonna make a decision what I'm gonna get. I don't know yet. There's too many options. So on the holiday menu. They have ice sugar cookie almond lo almond milk latte, peppermint mocha frappuccino blended beverage, caramel brulee latte. I'm gonna tell you, I'm probably gonna go with my peppermint mocha frappuccino. It's like my go-to. I'll start off there and work my way around. The ice sugar cookie sounds pretty nice too, though. Michelle said that she enjoyed that one. It's huge. Hey, says I like to sit on the side of Uptown Joy and just sit and listen to the music. It's going to be a lot easier, too, once they finish those bricks over there and all that becomes back into play. St. Nicholas. <laughs> I, I've, not, I've not heard that one before. That's pretty good, actually. Good morning, Cam Chef. How are you? Yes, they're playing full-on Christmas music. When I was here the other day, it was jingle bells in your ears. It was crazy. So we've got pumpkin cream. We've got Irish cream. We have peppermint mocha, peppermint hot chocolate, chestnut praline latte. Doing great. How about yours? All right, before I get up there, if Susan's watching, do I have a card I need to be using on the app? Because I'm nervous now. Good morning, Dave C. How are you? Perfect. Thank you. There we go. Hello, hello. Hello, Jen. How are you? Uh, everything. Um, I think I'm going to start off with the basic because you got to start with some, somewhere. So let me do the uh, peppermint mocha frappuccino. Uh, grande. That will be it. That's it. Uh, Chris. Thank you, Jen. We're going to get to the back of the line. Going to have to wait some time. We'll just step back here and wait our turn. You want to want some hot cocoa? Business Story, Vacation, and Polar Express are probably my top three. So, Tyler, are you excited about the fact that a Christmas Story sequel is coming out in the next few weeks? Does that excite you? Does that upset you? 
that's something that's, you know, because sequels can be really good or they can be really bad. So. I have great connections to a Christmas story. I myself as a child received a Red Ryder BB gun and it was hidden behind the Christmas tree, just like in the movie. Just it went on mute. I'm just talking away. I've been talking away with you guys. I've been on mute ever since I moved over. Ah. Sorry, guys. Pringle, Chris Pringle, eggnog shaken but not stirred. Thank you guys, I finally caught up. I'm back. So I had to I had to sign into my uh, YouTube account on my other device and it requires me to open up my YouTube app to sign in. These two step verifications are just a pain sometimes. And evidently when I went back on it muted me.
it's all back. Thank you, guys. And uh, for those who uh, were not able to heal here, I um, the winning the uh, the next winning lottery numbers I announced. Uh, make sure you write those down. <laughs> it was me. I actually had to open up another app on my phone, and when I do that, sometimes it will mute my other device. I was, and I do that all the time. I'm always talking to myself. What's really funny is most of the time I argue with what I'm saying because I don't believe what I'm saying is true. No, no, I, I, I really do want to go out to eat. No, you don't. Yeah, most of the people I hang around with in the parks all think I talk to myself anyway, so, right? I know, right, Dave? Hard to tell. I don't know if one of those might be mine. I can't hear anything. I'm going to try to get closer. I think I'm getting closer to my time, but I don't know. Complaints here for anybody in our group, Melanie. I do have a suggestion, though. If you want to go somewhere other than Disney, you should go with us on our group cruise. We have tons of people who have never been on a cruise before who are deciding that the best time to go is with a group of people to make sure that you got somebody there with you. Reminder, guys, we are doing our group cruise next year from June 23rd to the 26th on the Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas. It's a four-day, three-night cruise to the Bahamas, to Nassau, and to a perfect day at Coco Cay. If you are a party of two, we have rooms set aside, staterooms already set aside for some great group pricing. A little bit lower pricing and if you get a full deposit in by november 16th we'll have an additional perk if you're taking one of those rooms as well but send an email over to susan at susan edwards at travelmation.net you can copy me just so i can see it and go cool at chris edwards at travelmation.net and uh, susan will be glad to give you the pricing and more information about our cruise, we'd love for you guys to join us on the Independence of the Seas next year. We've got a we've got a good group already booked and ready to go, and uh, I cannot wait to be on the uh, on the open water with you guys next June. Good morning, Elaine. How are you? Exactly, Michelle. I have no clue. What I'm having for lunch today. I think I was talking about it while I was on mute too. Um, we are, the lunch poll is up at the moment. We are about 15 minutes away from 11 o'clock. We try to eat lunch early on very, very busy days or else we'll never get a table to sit at. So guys, if you haven't voted already in the lunch poll, it's at the top of the box of the chat choose your option don't let me know what they are you can use in code option one two or three but don't let anybody know in the chat what they are because then i will read it in the comments and the surprise will be ruined but you guys get to choose what i have for lunch today so make your vote oh there was a chris is that my chris i gotta make my way to the front Nope, that is not my Chris. 
I ordered an Ariana Grande, and that's like a, a Trenta. So yeah, we've got several people. Who in the who in? That would be me. All right, pardon me. Pardon me. Okay. All righty. And we are out of here. All right. Oh, look, there's oxygen out here. Did you guys know that? Sweet. All right, my... We've got a paper down. We've got a paper down. So if you guys are in the chat and you're already signed up for that cruise and you're okay with it, letting everybody know that you're coming with us, speak on up. First Christmas Starbucks. That's the first peppermint. We got to take it when we can. That was funny. I don't know if you heard the gentleman. He's like, of all the things to take pictures of while you're at Disneyland. <laughs> Little does he know, I take pictures of everything. Welcome in, Love Disney Magic. Happy Monday. Show up people in front. They've been treating you rough here, Dave. I think you do deserve another vacation. That would be interesting. We could throw a twist in there. Oh my gosh, Pepperman. Ah. Uh, peppermint and chocolate. Love my, you know what? <laughs> so, hot the fam. I had a, uh, I had an, a, uh, an opportunity to have lunch yesterday with Jordan and Patrick over at Minnie's Hollywood and Dine, and they had, they had asparagus on the on the on the uh, buffet, and I almost, I almost took one for the team. But I didn't. <laughs> well, happy Monday morning, everybody. If you've just joined us here, the castle is quiet. Christmas music's playing in the background. It's just perfect snow weather at 85 degrees here today. So we're just starting a week off, another week here with our magic crew. I hope that if you guys are starting your work week off, that our streams can do it in such a positive and uplifting way. Oh, that breeze feels amazing. 
and that we can encourage you guys to start your week off with great expectations. Now, as we move into this uh, time of year, we're going to have a lot of resort hopping. For instance, on Wednesday, we will be spending a good amount of time during Wednesday stream at the Grand Floridian. Doesn't mean we're going to be doing so much additional stream so much as that we're just going to be enhancing the streams that we already do every, every weekday already. But... Starting here very soon, we're going to be doing night streams as well. Because I want to show you guys what the parks look like with all the lights lit up at night. Ooh, the breeze is strong. As well as hitting Universal Orlando Resort starting November 12th and going through the end of the year. To enjoy their holiday seasons, including meeting with the Grinch. And going to have several times of doing the Macy's Holiday Parade. No, live streamer! Very different. <laughs> I think it's funny when people walk by and they think I'm blogging. So they'll try to do something like grand and to catch my eye and Maybe that will get it edited into the uh, into the final blog, knowing that yeah they're they're in they're fully in. So to show you guys, almost an hour wait. For Buzz, uh, Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger Spin. Where all that line's going. Welcome in, Vinny's No Regrets Club. Good morning, Gail. Buffalo cauliflower at Space 220. That like, sounds perfect for Susan. Welcome in, Lego Master Evil. Glad to have you in. You know what? While I was getting my coffee, right when I got called, I think there was someone else who also hit the uh, subscribe button. I'm sorry I missed you. To everybody who's popped in today and Taking just a couple of seconds to hit that subscribe button. Welcome into the crew. Feel free to jump into the chat, guys. This is an amazing group of people to hang out with. Very safe. We ask that everyone keep our chat family friendly. And everyone's respectful of one another's the chat. And it works really well. We just ask that, you know, come on in, have some fun. Wow. Um, I don't know if we would get on the people mover before our time for closing the lunch ball would happen. I still haven't seen the end of the line yet. So if I were to go along and ask every single person what what families ran the race this weekend and which ones are from Jersey, I wonder what the uh, wonder what the the uh, statistics would be. So 
here's the back of our line. We may not be getting on people mover first this morning. We can go see Buzzville. Our galactic gateway is fully decorated. Look at that. Jenny Faye, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Welcome into the crew. Just walk up to the stage and he'll show up eventually. Got a couple pictures of Buzz. We'll make some space for other families. Quite a few people over here. Ready for their opportunities to see Buzz. So I don't think I was prepared for the crowds we were going to be having today. This is the back of our line for people mover. That's probably, I don't know what they're forecasting, and I'm guessing at least a 30 minute wait. Disney's Magical Journey, hated to do it, but had to postpone our trip for this week. Saw the weather and three days of rain. Sure wouldn't want to make the once in a lifetime trip for the mother-in-law any fun. So yeah, we are going to be getting some rain. That's going to be our normal afternoon, possible rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. And Thursday, we're getting some rain. Right now, it's forecast of 100% chance of rain on Thursday. Sorry you had to postpone your trip. Hope you can reschedule it real soon. Welcome in, D. How you doing today? I'm mortified. You were guided for it. Oh, I love I, you guys know that I don't put anybody else's children. I don't use them for content. I don't put the camera on anybody's children as a focus. Of course, you know, as we're walking along, you can't help but to do that. But when we're in character meet and greets and stuff like that. I try not to focus on that. But there are so many awesome experiences you can live vicariously through when you see little ones. Get excited to see certain characters last uh yesterday goofy was coming through oh my gosh this toddler's mother was more excited to see goofy for her toddler than the toddler was and screaming it's goofy it's goofy oh my gosh it's goofy look it's goofy and the kid's like all right who's goofy she's like you gotta get this look at this go see good and it was it was so adorable the kid was like yeah that's pretty cool it's a giant dog i get it i like it but the mom was loving it for, for their kid. It was pretty funny. What do you guys think of this thing? Not the uh, ears. We'll put the ears up. I mean, I like the ears. It's sketchy. <laughs> but put it back up. Beep, 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 beep. Look at this fuzzy thing. That is a fuzzy jacket. I don't think I've quite seen something like that before. It's got patches on it. Have you guys ever seen a fuzzy patch jacket? It's 
It's got Pluto, Donald, Goofy. Sensational Six are all over this thing. It is $89.99. It looks way too warm for today's 85 degree weather. This guy says, was that Tron merch I saw? Oh, yes, 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 it was. Would you like to see it again? We've got the Tron shirt. And then there is a backpack. I'm trying not to go all the way down. I'm going to have to go all the way down for it. All right, wait, now there's one on the other side. Good. Oof. That's all the way on the floor. And this lounge fly does light up on the disc. So you can open it up and uh, you can actually, I don't think I can do it, but well, maybe I can. The, the battery patch hasn't been pulled. I don't want to pull it. I want fresh batteries forever buys it, but you can turn it on. So at night you can walk around with your, uh, your program disc lit up. That's cute. And it lights up. Oh, you have to ask how much you can afford it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but if you are wanting to know how much it is, it's $95. About $10 more than the normal bag, I guess, because it lights up. Or because it's super duper cool. I don't know. I think both things work. Thank you guys so much for hitting that thumbs up button today. You guys have already gotten us up to 500 likes. Thank you guys so much. And appreciate a community who is all about growing and inviting other people to be a part. We've got a stitch coffee mug down. Stitch is broken. Oh. It's small and broken, but good. Yeah, still good. Still good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not good, Stitch. It's still not good. <laughs> All right. Now, I did not. I don't remember. Did I see this shirt last time we were here? I've seen the other shirts, but I don't remember seeing the, the, uh, the button-up, the duck shirt. All the ducks. Gladstone. Dingus McDuck. Scrooge, of course, is in there. Ryder Duck. Clinton. That's kind of a cool shirt. <laughs> it's like a family tree. It's $59.99. Put it with your uh, your uh, Louis, Huey, Louie, and Dewey hat, and you are ready to go on the town. They are, but they're just, they don't make them for big headed people like me, Christy. <laughs> Mouse ears and beers, I want that white jacket notes, must tell Jen. You know, mouse ears and beers, we should come up. We should come up with a discount code that you can tell Jen. You saw it on ear to ear magic. <laughs> and I think Jen's going to be on later on this afternoon as well. And if you ever see anything on our stream, then you, you would, you, it's a, Disney Parks exclusive, and you're like, man, I'd love to have that, but you can only get it in the parks. We don't personal shop. You can go check out our friends over at Florida Park Explorers. Jen would be glad to help you get an item and get it to your house. So go check them out. Oh, Sky, there better be tons of new merchandise. We've been waiting for this ride for 17 and a half years. Give or take a day. 
there would be so much cool merchandise. All right, I'm going to stop off to the side for a second. Good morning, Miles. How are you? It was a busy weekend. Samantha says, we missed you guys by day. We're in MK yesterday. Oh, no. Are you guys still around? Rhino says, good morning, everybody watching from Los Angeles. Tisha is officially one week from their trip. Glad you could join us today. Feel free to ask questions if you have any. We'll get you ready for your trip in a week. Paul says, I look better in blue. <laughs> Weirdo King, I bought the Tron Lounge Fly. Really? I, that shocks me. It doesn't seem to look much like a pirate. I mean, I guess you could be a computer pirate. Pat says, I really like that shirt. You're talking about the, uh, the, the duck shirt? Yeah, I'd wear that shirt. I'd have no, I would not even think twice about that one. That's a nice one. All right, now we are past 11 o'clock. I don't know if the poll is still open. But if it is, I'd say let's go ahead and close it. You guys, if it's still open, you guys probably have mere seconds before we close it out. Tisha, what's a must ride for me? Well, if you're talking all of Walt Disney World right now, your must ride is Guardians of the Galaxy. Over at Epcot, you can get yourself a virtual queue at 7 a.m. on the day that you have an Epcot reservation. Get up early, wait for that thing to go to 6.59 in your My Disney Experience app. Go to virtual queues, keep refreshing until seven o'clock hits and hit join virtual group. Ride that ride. It's an amazing ride. It's a lot of fun. See him nowhere, man. Says we're we are officially ready to book. Look for our email later today. Awesome. See you. See him nowhere, man. I'm gonna grab some shade for just a second. Finish up the last of my peppermint mocha. And then I will be waiting on instructions. I think it works well for a design though. It really does. Yeah, which day is less crowded in MK, Saturday or Sunday? They're about the same. If I had a choice between the two, I probably would do a Saturday. But they're going to be very, very close. Uh, Weirdo King wants me to go say hey to his other wife. Days of Perception just made it in time to vote. Man, this is Guardians of the Galaxy was the best ride ever. It's amazing. Uh, she has just came back just as of, you know, not recent, recent, but probably one of the most recent add-ons. And uh, it's best to uh, jump in line for her early. Walk over where her space is on the other side of where we're at now. Jump in line when you can. She's a lot of fun to meet. Ask her about how her uh, princess lessons are going. Welcome in, Scotty. How are you doing today? 
So, Angela, there's a couple of reasons why the shirts did not go out earlier than the uh, end of last week and first of this week. We had, uh, we did have uh, an issue where the shipments were ready to go out. But unfortunately, I had a few people who were going to be here last week in person. And if the, if the orders all shipped out um, as they were ready to go, uh, the five people that were going to be here and coming to meet up to, you know, to ride in races would not have their shirts here. They would be waiting for them as I came back. So I actually asked the deliveries to stop for a second and asked them to pull out an order. And I kind of messed things up. Um, but I asked them to pull those five people's shirts out and send them directly to me so that I could give them out. I got them last minute. I had to pay overnight to get them on Thursday. And uh, so I could hand them out to people on Friday so a few people could wear their shirts and pictures. Or even like Steven, uh, wear them in the race. Everyone else's is already packed, was ready to go. And once those were out of the way, they are in route. So I would expect, I've been told they're being shipped um, USPS. And uh, I'll... Uh, Expect to start seeing you guys tell me in chat over the next week that they are starting to come in. So, So let me reconnect my uh, phone here and then we'll get going again. I can only walk so many feet before I lose Wi-Fi on my other one. So let's put on our, on our uh, lunch, let's go ahead and give a Let's go ahead and give a final countdown. If you haven't voted yet, go ahead and do it. Let's close it out and order lunch and go ahead and get started. I don't want to get too late in today. Today is extremely packed in the park. If we get too close to 12 o'clock, it's going to be really hard to get lunch in today. So go ahead and make your final selections, guys. Ah, uh, thanks for asking, Angela. Marissa Patel, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button today. Everybody say hello and welcome into Marissa. Welcome to the crew. Jeremy's like, help them win their first lunch poll in months. Vote number four. I don't know what number four is, but... coming through. So I think we are officially in Jersey week, guys, which means this week's going to be a crazy week for crowds. Pardon me, sorry. I'm going to get run over. 
I got a stroller on each side and a scooter at my heels. I got to go. I got to go. What are your plans? Would you still go with a tropical storm later in the week? The way it works, man, is if the parks are open, I will be here. If I can get a reservation and they will let me in the door, I will be here. I may be wet, but I will be here. Welcome in, Cooper, Benji, LA. How are you doing today? Howdy, 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 Inez, how are you? Hope you're having a great day today. 75 minute wait right now for the Haunted Mansion. Hour and 15 minutes. And your hopes to be the 1,000th volunteer. I'm sure the line is way back at the back of the dock. That's something that was out of my mindset, John, but I'm glad you mentioned it this morning because as soon as you said it, I'm like, that's it. <coughs> Going to Memento Mori, which they've removed a lot of uh, a lot of shelving in here in the middle. Makes a lot more room for shopping. I most certainly can. A little bit of a challenge, but can do it. <coughs> and cool in here too. How are you doing today, George? How are things going? It's a little shirt. So tiny. A little Haunted Mansion fan. Madame Leota. So, Karen, now park reservations are required. So, in addition to having just park tickets, you actually have to have reservations for particular days and particular parks. So, for instance, I have to tell Disney that I want to go to the Magic Kingdom today. Tomorrow, I want to go to Hollywood Studios. Then you have to go to the parks that you have reservations for. Even if you do park hopping, you must first go to the park that you have a reservation for. And you have to scan your ticket at that park. And then after two o'clock, you can go to any other park. But you first must scan in at the park you have reservations for. So no, you can't just say how many tickets you want and then go where you want to. Even pass holders like myself have to tell Disney exactly what park they want to go to on what days. This year, right now, we do not have a ticket for any of the Miggies Very Merry Christmas parties just yet. They are about $180 per person for the uh, events that they have right now in November. So, I don't know. We'll see if uh, we have an opportunity to do so. 
but our little channel it's difficult to say we can just go to $360 for Susan and I to go and it's even more of course if we were to bring our kids with us so that is still to be determined we'd love to we're gonna see Well, you did get that one close. A lighted chess set. $100 for this one. Now, if you are an annual pass holder, you do have limitations depending on which pass you have. If you are buying tickets, there is no limitation. If you have tickets for five days, then you can have five reservations. You have tickets for seven days, you can have seven reservations. Only pass holders have a limitation on how many park reservations they can do. So this is the light-up chess set. The pieces are plastic. And you put them on the lighted board, they'll glow. Yeah. Does the mirror picture work again from Ruth to Mori? It most certainly does. Would you like to see it, Disney family? Here, let's go check it out. <laughs> if you stare in there long enough, she will stare back at you. Welcome in, Steven. How are you today? Welcome in. the back of our line right now for Haunted Mansion. It's moving over to our ferry boat. <laughs> to the back of our line here. All right, so I'm back into a little bit of a shade here. So I've been having problems this morning. Disney Wi-Fi, like every like 100 feet, keeps cutting off on my device that I use for communication, like for my app or for something on the outside. So I've been getting logged out of all my devices over and over and over again. I'm gonna try to log in again. There we go. 
So, oh, I missed this notification. Thanks, Disney Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, Don, I so missed it. I am so sorry. You're doing a great job. Oh, thank you. Follow you. Oh, thank you very much. Are you guys having a good day today? Yeah. Make the most out of it. Thank you. So I missed the notification from Don. Don sent over PayPal and with a message celebrating 48 years. Wait, I walked too far. My Wi Fi is gone again. <laughs> I walked to the edge. Celebrating 48 years young today. Put towards some treats or lunch today. And thank you. Oh, I can't read the rest of the message. And it just went offline again. <laughs> I have lost Disney Wi-Fi again. All right. So, Don, thank you so much. It's your 48 years young birthday today. And uh, that requires a, uh, a birthday song. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Don. Happy birthday to you. And along with that, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. And Don, thank you so much. You know, generally people on their birthdays, they get presents. And here you are blessing us on the channel. So thank you so much, Don. I'm going to try to, this is the fourth time since I walked over to the Auto Mansion to try to get back on the Wi-Fi. Um, <laughs> try one more time. So everybody say happy birthday to Dawn. So I'm trying to read the chat. I'm trying to connect to the Disney Wi-Fi. I'm trying to sing happy birthday songs. And I'm going the wrong way for lunch. The multitasking that has to go on in a four-hour live stream. Luckily for me, I've got the sun shining on all of my screens. So that they're really hard to read. Otherwise, it would be way too easy to do this. <laughs> I, I don't know which way I'm going. Just tell me where I'm going. Welcome in, Norm. Happy Monday. Glad you could join us here today. Thank you, Don. Yes, they are very short signal links today. I have already walked away from my other signal. I've already, already lost I've lost it again. Lunch. Where did you guys where are you guys sending me today? Lunch is at Cosmic Rays. All right, the crew has spoken. You guys have made our choice. I still don't know what we're having, but we're having it at Cosmic Rays. So Susan's going to order my food for me off the My Disney Experience app. I'm going to try to get back on Wi-Fi when I get over there so I can actually show them that it is my order. And then I will be surprised when they put the food across the counter. Thank you guys for voting in today's poll. And thank you guys for being a part of what we do here on our streams. Karen, your daughter's birthday is November 18th. Who else has a birthday in November 18th? Hang on, let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, well, I know. Uh, happy birthday to me, Mickey Mouse. We're going to have a lot of things to do come November. Actually, that week, that week is going to be a big week. We got a lot of things opening up on November 17th and November 18th. Sounds like we're going to be singing happy birthday to more than one person on the 18th.
Let's go to Cosmic Race! Man, it's like Cosmic Bliss. <laughs> Hello, Brayden. Welcome in. Good morning. Let's take our shortcut over where Merritt is. I know. We missed it this morning, Stephen. I even, I, I so badly wanted to get you guys on the Jingle Cruise today that I had to give up even looking at the tree myself this morning. It almost felt wrong going through there fast. <laughs> so how about as we go over to Cosmic Grace? Here you leave today and enter the world of tomorrow, yesterday, and fantasy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magic Kingdom. And we're glad you guys could join us here today. What a beautiful day it is. There are tons of people, lots of people in the crowd today, but everyone's smiling and having a good time. The trees and the decorations are up, the music's playing, the characters are out. And you guys are sending me over to Cosmic Rays to have an early lunch. And I have no idea what it's going to be. Meredith's got a long line, too. That princess is out today. She's out. Looking bright and curly as normal. You know, if we ever get to meet Merida, I have to ask her what her uh, holiday traditions are like with her family. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. funny I do that for myself so I'm so glad that you guys enjoy it Andreas Beard thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button today welcome in and uh, welcome to the crew glad to have you part of our community here today Glad that you asked. Welcome in, David. Thank you so much for joining the crew this morning as well. I have lost Disney Wi-Fi again. Look at all those Donald zippers. Oh, there's Donald zippers everywhere. Well, when they come back in stock, they really come back in stock. All right, so we're gonna sit back and wait, see when our order is done. I'm gonna sit back and make a little bit more space here. I'm not in anybody's way. And if you guys are just popping in, welcome in. That would be great, Philly Phil. If uh, Mr. Musk can just give me a call at any time that he has his convenience, I will be glad to answer.
Welcome in, everybody. Welcome back. We're over here at uh, Cosmic Craze. You guys have chosen that we're going to have lunch here today. So we're waiting for my order to be ready. I don't know what the order is. Uh, I trust you guys. It will be extremely uh, a good option. So we'll find out when they provide the food up here in just a second. And I can't see anything. Even my chat's being really wonky here today. I do show. I'm gonna try to refresh as much as possible. This is really bad signal in here. I got four things going on, so give me just a second, everybody. Got a notification. Got a couple of notifications. First of all, we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. And I only see one at the moment. There you go. So TV One Productions. Thank you so much for the ten dollar PayPal. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you for supporting and investing into our channel. And in addition to that, Steven, the super sticker is now lost. I can't pop it up there, but I can see it. I just can't put it on the screen. Steven sent over a $50 super sticker. Oh my gosh, Steven, thank you so much. I, believe me, please know, I will always be do, I will always be glad to help out, to put a smile on anybody's face, something we can do in the parks. Uh, and uh, I hate that we didn't get to do that when we came into the park this morning. But thank you again so much for the super sticker. 
What can I say except thank you for the super sticker? Thank you, Stephen. Greatly appreciate that. And I'm sorry I missed that because of the connections. When I came into the building, I've, it's gone haywire. I will be eating outside to make sure. Yeah, it's. I, I can't even pull up. There we go. See, Jessica, even that's kind of. I'm working on it. Billy Phil, again, thank you guys both. There it is. Now it popped up. See, even that, I had to refresh, refresh, refresh. So I think we're going to eat outside today because obviously coming inside, not the way to go today. Still robotic. Domo arigato, Mr. Robato. Domo. The Disney Fantastic. Good morning. How are you? Chris Pierce says, watched you back, watched the video back from Hollywood Studios in 1028. Missed, just missed you. I was in your video heading to Tower of Terror. Oh, man. I know we were close. We were really close. I think um, I was hoping that when you guys got out of the, the uh, Beauty and the Beast show that we would run into each other. And I was actually looking to see if I could find you. So I'm sorry we missed it. So we are waiting for their order to come through. I'll show you what happens. Let me show you exactly what I see, guys. So I can see this. After Susan makes the order, I can see that screen. It says just preparing the order. But for me to be able to see what the order is, I have to hit that button. I don't hit that button. I keep it a complete surprise. That's the only way I can see what you guys have chosen for today. And I just don't do it. So. Um, we're still waiting for the order to be prepared. Quite a few people also doing the same thing. So we'll have some food here in just a moment. We'll go back outside and hopefully things will go a lot faster. Uh, we'll get our signal back again. Good morning, Redemption German Shepherd Rescue. How are ya? Hey Chris, how far in advance can you buy Christmas party tickets uh, as of last September? You can buy them today for any of the season throughout the year. You know, only for this year. You want to buy tickets? We can have them for you today if you'd like. Thank you, Stephen. It's rough when I get signal issues like this and I get kind of bogged down a little bit. And right now, guys, while we're waiting for order to go up, members of our crew 15,539 that means we're about 60 away from getting 15.6 so um numbers are cool numbers are great numbers kind of keep us an idea the only number is we can see the number increasing the number tells us that people are going to have any time that's that the numbers don't really do what we want them to do what really happens is you guys come in you jump into the chat we see our chat just filled with people who enjoy being in the parks and have fun and watch from work from home from whatever activities and that's where the real magic happens which is why we call you guys the magic crew so uh thank you guys to everybody who's hit that subscribe button today and welcome in if this is your first time in and pick up that just got the notification pick up uh window six order number four five nine five here we go what did you guys order what did we get today what's for the lunch 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 today window number six four five nine five
I don't I mean, she, I think this is six here. Yeah, this is six. Everybody's at six. People at five. Or somebody at seven. <laughs> Welcome in and good morning. This is just joined the Magic Crew last week. We've been watching almost every day. Super excited about our trip in December. Well, now that we've gotten all of our December decorations up and ready to go, you guys are fully into the season. So glad to have you in today. Happy Monday, Riley family. Hey, everybody in here loves going to the parks. Enjoys some characters and watching parades, big fan of fireworks, and yes, we get excited about silly things like that. And Disney Plus, feel free to come in and enjoy and be a part and know that the judgment was a raw dollar. Is this a moon? A moon landing burger? All right. All right, let's grab some condiments. I love the great variety of condiments they have here. Barbecue sauce. And do you guys have a honey mustard somewhere here? No honey mustard? Ah, it was going so well. <laughs> How are you doing today, Alexandra? Monday, is it everything good though? Okay. It was a long weekend for us. We had a lot of people coming in for the busy race, and now we've started Jersey Week. So now we're just going rolling right from the other. So, <laughs> all right, let me I'm gonna take you guys outside. I think our signal is going to be a little bit better outside. So let's head out. Woo, even this might be a challenge, guys. Challenge. You guys know I do most of my live streaming one-handed. Mm, nope, no table over here. We may be out of luck. Even getting lunch early today, or early-esque. We might not have a place to sit. So far, I don't find any tables open. Oh, 
lot of tables with no food on them today. And I'm just out of luck. We have a lot of people just kind of taking it, chilling, taking it easy, not really actually eating. So a lot of tables are full, but not a lot of people are eating. All right, let me see if I can find, I don't know, where's my next option? I guess we're gonna go across the way. Let's go across. We're gonna do a frogger here, you guys ready? It's like Stroller City over here. Well, it's in full sun, but I don't have much of an option, so. There's a table, and we are glad to have it. All right, so let me take a couple of pictures. I don't know if you know what we're having here. So I'm going to take this picture here. Means me getting on here. I've been wondering about the idea of whether or not, I think I'm gonna get tanned on my legs sitting here. Whether or not I, you know, we're over on TikTok, on Instagram as well, wondering if whether or not I should do a TikTok for every day that we're in the parks of what we had for lunch that day. Now I'm trying to do it on a community post to let you guys know, for those who might miss the live streams, at least go into the community post and see what we had for uh, the lunch call. I just don't know if people would find that interesting or not if every day there was a TikTok where, hey, this is what we had for lunch. What would happen if I did this? That'd be insane if I could make that work. Hey, that works out perfect. We're shaded. Like Scooby-Doo. This looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty delicious. All right, back in the chat. Eric says, maybe do a weekly TikTok on food treats. This is what we had for food this week. We do so much food. Mission to Mars was, I remember, a pretty good burger.
Morgan Ben Mayor of Chicken Ben Hill, how are you? That's true, that does happen a lot of times. There are people who are getting food while others are waiting. It's just not always a thing. But I do know a lot of times though. If we are stopping to get something to just break rest and it gets really busy, we try to be conscious of the fact that we aren't actually actively eating. That there are other people who do like to eat, who would like to have a table. So we try to give up our table quickly when it gets really busy. You know I do that too, Redemption. You know I do that too. So let's talk about what we did uh, get here. Welcome in, Linda B. How are you? I don't even know what this is just yet. Officially. Um. Oh, that's funny. I just looked up the order. It's. The, I said it had a little American flag in there, and like, sort of like, you know, with the, the moon landing. It is, this is the burger to the moon. So, perfect. Burger to the moon. All right, let me catch up a little bit in chat. Good morning and welcome in, gallery man. How are you? <laughs> Get it. Well, actually, I found a table over here eventually, Travis. Uh, we're supposed to be there tomorrow. Can I get an update on the forecast? Oh, of course. The wind is so strong, it's blowing the, the, uh, the umbrella away. So, uh, our forecast is really going to be, this is what we've got for the week, guys. Let me pull that up for you at the moment. So we're still going to be mid 80s and then we're going to have some rain tomorrow afternoon and it's going to go uh, more rain, more rain. And then on Wednesday, even more temperatures are going to drop down to the 70s and on Thursday, 100% chance of rain. We're going to get a lot of rain on Thursday. So if the parks are open, which until they tell me they're not, I expect that they will be. Uh, we'll take you guys in the park and we may get a little wet on Thursday. That's what we do. Kim Chef, yes, as we move into the holidays, it's pretty crucial that I show you guys the decor of the parks at nighttime. So I will be adding a few night streams. They may not necessarily always be officially on the schedule. Typically, we do not have as many people watch us at night as we do in the daytime. So when we do go live at night, we expect, you know, a few of our ninja watchers may not be available. What I would love for you guys to do is, if you haven't done so already, if you already are part of the Magic Crew, we want you guys to find the little bell. There's a bell in the middle of the screen. Click that bell. It's a notifications. And uh, we want you guys to have those notifications turned on so that when we do a night stream and go over to Hollywood Studios or even go do Fantasmic, that you guys will be notified as soon as you turn on YouTube that we are alive and ready for you guys to come and join us. So hit that bell, make sure you have this turned on so you don't miss the night stream. No, she got she got in trouble for that video too. I don't remember why, but she got some uh, social media feedback that wasn't too grand. All right, this is our burger to the moon, guys. I'm looking forward to see it too. 
So this is the burger to the moon. I'm hoping my umbrella doesn't go flying away. We got major wind coming through here. So all the options for today's meal were plant-based. This is plant-based? Hmm. Who knew? So let's get the full thing on here. So the Burger to the Moon. It is an impossible burger with guacamole, tomato, and cabbage slaw served with french fries. Is there a tomato on here? Wow. All right. The tomato is so small. I had to dig up. I had to dig it, dig it for it. There is a tomato in there, but it's like I haven't even been into it yet. So it's a plant-based burger with cabbage slaw, guacamole, and tomato. Not a lot of tomato. That's pretty good. First bite impressions, I didn't I wouldn't I didn't know it was plant based. Is that good? Huh. I mean, if I told you that that was not real meat, manufact you know, it may have been manufactured in a laboratory, but. They're a lot of fun at night. I actually enjoy being here at night. It's just I have worked really hard over this past year to provide a constant and a continual schedule for you guys. So I try hard to make sure that I'm here every single day for you guys. If I can get to the point I can start adding a few night streams in, I'd love to do so. It's really vicious. I want more tomato though. I mean, come on. That's a pretty pitiful tomato. So the only other problem I have is, and this is probably very much a problem of the day. The, the bun is a little hard on the extremes. So. It's funny. It's funny that I'm eating a plant-based burger, but I have to have a very small bit of tomato. Welcome in, AB. How are you? Good to see you again, Dave. 
And guys, we're very close to hitting 600 likes for today's stream. If you haven't done so already, we'd love it if you take a couple of seconds and just hit that thumbs up button. What type of time to do that? Welcome in, Joanna. Prop AJ, how are you doing today? Can you ask for no coleslaw or tomato? I can have the avocado, I just want coleslaw and avoid tomato. If you avoid tomato, it's okay. They avoid tomato too. <laughs> this is like the ghost of a tomato. <laughs> this is like the echo of a tomato. Uh, just when you mobile order, I would go in and order it. If you have a special order like that, I wouldn't mobile order it. I'd go in and actually talk to them about it just to make sure. So. Thank you guys. So I'll tell you this though, Shoshana. I don't know if it's because some theme park burger buns are not, our burger patties are not that great, or this is just really good. Can't really tell. Welcome in, Dana Wright. Good to see you guys. Well, I like coleslaw. This is not a real coleslaw in the way, you know, a traditional coleslaw, but it's got cabbage on it. Cabbage and mayo. You can throw that on there. I'm very happy with it. Good to have you in. It's the, it's the essence. The essence, yes, mm. essence. <laughs> we suck the essence out of the tomato. Mm. That's an off the wall reference. So some of you guys, I, I know I'm weird, but there we go. more. Do you ever get exhausted by going over there so many times? I do get tired just going, constantly moving, constantly going. This weekend was a little harder running the 5K. We had several meetups, um, and then I had you know personal uh, meetups here and there. It happens. I do get tired. Susan will tell you some days, and it wasn't until I started live streaming that this ever happened. I do the typical dad thing, come home and sit down on the couch and just fall asleep. But it's all good. I can always count on a few of you guys. So guys, welcome in Hungry Polar Bear. How are you? I mean, Hungry Polar Bear on Instagram, I'm talking about wanting somebody to make you hungry. They will make you hungry. I feel guilty sometimes when I do you guys a live stream. Man, they do it all the time on Instagram. So real quick, I played this earlier, but I want to do it one more time. Because I know we have some people joining a little bit later. This past weekend, we had a ton of people from our magic crew come in. Some came in early last week. A few were still here. A lot came in for the Run Disney races. We had our very first ever 
Year to Year Magic running group at a race. Guys, the very first two races, the very first the two 10Ks that I ran, I ran by myself. I showed up in the crowd by myself, knew no one, said hello to no one. Guns went off, ran the race, crossed the finish line, celebrated by myself. As awesome of an experience it was to cross the finish line, it does not compare to doing it with a group of people. That just amplifies being able to do something. And this weekend, I'm sorry, I have a little bit of coleslaw that was not going anywhere. I gotta get rid of it. So, um, we had a group of people who ran with us on the 5K this year. I hope we can do this much more in the future. I hope for 2023 Wine and Dine, we can have 20 people run together in the 5K. It was so much fun. And so many of those people were first time runners. So uh, I would like again to say congratulations to every single one of those who ran with us uh, on Friday. More of the crew ran again on uh, the 10K and the half yesterday. Congratulations to all of those guys, including um, Nikki. Nikki ran uh, 10K and a half. Um, Calvin, um, Missy ran the 10, and Frank ran the 10 and the half. So congratulations to all of you guys. Um, you guys make me so proud to be a part of a group uh, that can to watch and be and, and see and support people like that who run they can do what maybe one of these days they didn't think they could do but they're doing it now so um i just want to play this one more time i played it earlier but for those who are you know coming in later in the stream a couple of uh things that we saw this uh past weekend when we ran the 5k together so enjoy it's only a matter of time before the magic crew all come together and cross the wide and dodge 5k 2022 finish line weekend that was again thank you to everybody who ran with us on Friday congratulations for all these first-time runners you guys did the 5k time for a 10k time to keep going you can do more and the greatest thing I got for my very first 10k I'd always thought in my mind there's no way in the world I could ever run a race like that the feeling of crossing that finish line I wish I could bottle that. The amount of self-confidence, the boost that one gets. Realizing that all that self-doubt can do nothing against crossing that line. So to all those who raced for the first time this week, you did it. The scary thing is, you could always do it. And in the future, you can do it again. To those who've always thought about running their Disney race, and you're scared to try, come do it with us. 
we're going to do it again, and we're going to encourage you guys to do it with us again. So, yeah, it's a great week, great time to hang out. You got to see so many of the crew this weekend. Just a great community to be a part of. So, welcome in, Julianne. How are you? Good to see you, Wendy. Welcome in, Skipper Bob. Julianne's having lunch with us today. Welcome in. So, I want to say this. Uh, we have some of our runners in with here. I ran away from you all. Uh, Jay Wild, she did. We got to the end of the 5K. She was gone. I'm like, I thought we were going to run across the finish line together. And she's like, bye. Now, in that video, I had it, it's cut off because I had the, um, so many of the shots was like, uh, Michelle ran virtually with us. Her picture was vertical. To put it in the video, I had to cut it off. It looks like she's really up close. Jay Wild, you're missing. She's actually doing a fully off the ground over the finish line. It's a great shot. So, I want to say, sign up for a Disney race. No. All the races for next spring are already open and closed at the moment. They may reopen. But the 2023 one and nine for next November, not open yet. Put it in your calendar. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull it up real quick. Unless somebody has those dates. If you have already, if we already have those dates, uh, one of our runners, put it in the chat. Let us know. I'm gonna see if I can look it up real quick. <laughs> Two minutes. I'm telling you what, she left us, man. She did. Welcome in, Amy H. You think it'll be a hurricane on Wednesday, and Thursday? I don't know. All I know is that the parks are open. I'm gonna be here, Gray Architect. I will be here, wet or, wet or not, I will be here. Samantha says November uh, 2nd through the 5th. Thank you, Samantha. I'm still trying to connect the Wi-Fi. Um, put it on your calendars. I would love to encourage you if you've never run a race or if you've been like me, you've run races before but you run them by yourself and you would love to have a crew to encourage you to be a part we want you to sign up and we want you guys to run with us next year. And we had about overall, maybe a dozen people running with us across the races um, this time. I would love to do easy 20 or more uh, running next November. So we'll put you, you know, put it on your calendar. We'll give you guys reminders and when the registration opens up. And we will encourage you guys to join us next year. Now, I myself will be running the Spring Challenge. So, later in the spring, I will be running all three races in one weekend. My very first time ever doing three races in one weekend. So that should be interesting to see how that goes. Joe says, we can't have two in one year, can we? <clears throat> Some of my hurricanes. Yeah, ask, um, ask Louisiana that last year. I think they got three. So somebody asked the question. Um, <laughs> the real question is if Waffle House closes or not. So guys, real quick, before I jump up, we'll do a quick rating, but before we even do that, Skipper Bob's breakdown. Skipper Bob invited me to join him uh, a week ago Saturday at a local haunted house called Tales of Terror. 
and we had some fun going. He vlogged it. I did not. So if you'd like to... <laughs> I don't know, Bob, if it was more scary or creepy in a cringy way. I don't know. If you guys want to see a funny um, walkthrough, go over there to Skipper Bob's Breakdowns channel, and you can see his vlog of us going through Tales of Terror together. Dude, I lost my hat. I'm not joking. So go check out Skipper Bob's Breakdowns channel. Give it a subscribe, and then go watch the... We watched the vlog of us going through the haunted house. It was uh, it was fun. I had a good time. Thanks, Bob, for that invite. <laughs> exactly. If I'm running, something's chasing me. Or 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 Disney Houston. Or I'm late for my individual lightly thing. Might be late. Maybe late for my lightly thing. That could be a possibility too. All right. So if you guys are big already big and involved based into our magic crew but have not joined our patron group we would love for you guys to check that out it's a way to support the channel on a regular basis um, and it makes it possible for us to continue to do what we do uh, it's also a great way to have some communication and some back and forth and a few perks and which we're about to add a few more and revitalize and redo what we're doing over it so go check it out at patreon.com forward slash eating your magic there are five different tiers. The lowest one is only $5 a month. Love to have you guys join us over there. And at the beginning of every month, we have a patron call. Our one for this month was just last Tuesday. Had a great time. And uh, we'd love for you guys to join the time and, and be a part of it for December as well. So check it out. Patreon.com forward slash your magic. And to all of our patrons who are part of that group already, we make it possible for us to do what we do. Thank you so much for being patrons. We greatly appreciate you guys. And do know um, that uh, all that we do, we couldn't do it without our patrons. So thank you, patrons. Matter of fact, I got to get one of our patrons. Um, we gave a uh, popcorn bucket away um, last week, and I got to get it in the mail. It goes to Trish. Congratulations, Trish. One are Mr. Toad's Wild Ride Popcorn Bucket. I gotta get that in the mail. Now they're no longer running around all everywhere. It takes all I can to do to get keep Sarah from signing up for more and more all the time. And it's so great to do as a group as well. Elaine, I sent you a paper. Oh, you did? Thank you for letting me know because I had major problems with signals. I went into uh, Cosmic Rays. I lost everything. It took me a long time to catch back up. Now that I'm back outside, thank you, Elaine, for letting me know. I got it. Thank you, Elaine. Elaine sent over a $10 PayPal. Thank you so much, Elaine. That means we just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal. We just got a PayPal from the Magic Crew. Thank you, Elaine. And thank you guys all for everything you guys do to support us on the channel. I would love that you guys can watch. We love that you guys can come in and come in every single weekday and have a little bit of fun in the parks. And for those that can, we appreciate your support. If you can't, don't feel guilty. We love that you guys can just be here and be a part of everything we do. And it's just for those who have, who, who can help, we greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much today. Hope you're having a great Monday. And as well as everybody, I hope you guys have a great case of the Mondays today. All right, so. Why do I get reprimanded, but Calvin and Nikki don't? Um, because right now, uh, Sarah is going on our group cruise in next June, and I don't, um, I don't want you to have to get to your final payment, and you uh, send us your medal. <laughs> we want you to go on that cruise. We we've got a great group of people coming next June. 
So if you've been thinking about it, um, we're getting close to where we need to have our final um, group in for our initial uh, cruise, for our group cruise. If you guys have already asked for additional information about that cruise, and you've been thinking about it, let us know if you have any questions. We'd love to go ahead and get you booked and get the best selection as far as which rooms we have set aside or we need to pull in before we start having you know less availability or no availability for the room type that you're looking for. But for those who are, um, are thinking about it, uh, come on and join us next June, June 23rd to the 26th. And uh, if we can keep Sarah from signing up for all the Denver Run Disney races, Sarah's going to be there. And so I know several of the rest of you guys are going to be there as well. Looking forward to it. That's going to be a great time. If you guys enjoyed the meetups that we had this past weekend, think about the idea of spending an entire three days on the ship, four days, three nights, and uh, we're going to have a grand time next year on the Royal Caribbean Independence of the Sea. So. Send over an email, Susan Edwards at travelmation.net. Make sure to copy me, and uh, Susan can send you over the information. And if you are looking for a room, uh, initial deposit is only fifty dollars to hold just a room for a double occupancy. So that's why, Sarah, we can't let you miss out on that. Oh, thank you, Elaine. If we can grab enough, I think we can do that. We see if we can at least take you to a Christmas party this year. We're, de we're definitely we'll try. All right, so let's talk about the food real quick and get back out to the parks. So our uh, to the moon burger. It is a plant-based burger with an essence of tomato, guacamole, and a a uh, cabbage slaw. If you had not told me it was plant-based, I probably would not have known. Um, I actually enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, would I get it again? I'd have that again. I like slaw. Uh, it's not like a slaw slaw, like a coleslaw, but it does have some good crunch to it. I just wish the tomato was bigger. Uh, and I really do wish um, that, uh, well, honestly, I wish that um, the bun, this bun was a little on the, the stale side, on certain edges, which is a little unfortunate. But out of... Uh, out of Cinderella Castles, and because of the fact we had an American flag on top for the moon landing, so for our red, white, and blue castles, out of five, I'd give it four. I wish the tomato was bigger. I wish the bun was a little bit. I wish that the tomato was better. I wish the bun was lighter. I wish, no, I won't even try singing that. Um, but it's very close to being a pretty good burger for a day like today. So when I get it again, yes, I would. Right, are you guys ready to get back up to the parks? Let's go. I'm going to put away my umbrella, turn this thing back around, and let you guys watch as we get back up to the, uh, out to the mix. And for all of you guys who are joining us today, look how bright it is. Who are joining us for their lunch period, their lunch break, thank you guys for popping in and having some fun with us today. And if you are just joining us today, it is super duper crowded in the parks today. It's the beginning of Jersey week. A lot of teacher planning up in Jersey. Which means a lot of people are off from school this week. Up in that area of the country and that translates into Disney vacations. Sorry. 
I stopped right in front of someone's stroller. So Susan says our Great Dane Nova is asleep on the couch and wagging her tail in her sleep. It's funny, she she dreams of rabbits and stuff like that. You can see her little feet moving. When I say little, also imagine she's 130 pounds and takes up a love seat all by herself. So I use the word little very loosely. Thank you, Travel Adventures and more. And thank you to all of you guys who share out our streams. Invite your friends in and spread the word to come in and have a place where people can come and have family-friendly streams, positive chat. We talk about news and promotions. And since Susan and I are Travel Nation travel agents, we can tell you from a perspective of someone who knows on the inside what it's like here in the parks as far as availability, pricing, timing, and also just news that's coming through. So thank you guys for sharing the word and helping others find our streams. Miranda, we have not, it's on our list to do. We almost went for our honeymoon and, and uh, we have to get it, we'll have to cross that off of our list next time we're over there. Oh, Nova thinks she's the smallest dog in the world. Whenever we go to dog parks, Nova finds the smallest dog and that's the dog she wants to play with. So if you ever share a dog park with us in the Ear to Ear Magic family and you have a Chihuahua, I am, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nova wants to be your Chihuahua's best friends. So Disney Houston, the holidays or hula days, depending on if you're in Ale Islands of Adventure, starts November 12th and goes all the way to January 1st. So starting this weekend, we should start to see and be ready for our parades to start coming up. And I can't wait to send uh, to share a night stream with you guys to go check out the Macy's Day Holiday Parade. It's a great parade. Matter of fact, I probably will confirm that and we'll take you guys for the first night. Don't they always, Naomi? It's the big ones that always want to have the lay in your lap. And that, 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 that might be a bad thing. I ran the Kylo Ray 5K. Yeah, but I didn't expect Kylo to be the one running. And who was that woman running behind him? Are oh, you welcome, Disney Houston? You guys want to see the magic of the cotton candy being made? So, Maddie, Dan uh, Nova is a great Dane. She is a full blooded. Uh, blue Great Dane. But like I said, she thinks she's a Chihuahua. Hello, hello. We're watching you make uh, sugar uh, goodness. It's dreams in a bag. So my best thing, Leo, is when I got this reflective umbrella that I just had out while I was sitting at the table. That reflective coating makes it several degrees cooler on the inside. So if you guys have never used a reflective umbrella, it's probably better suited for sun than rain, but it still works in the rain. It's probably one of the better things that I have bought myself to use in the parks this week or this year. Um, we have a link to uh, the one I use in the description of our videos if you ever want to kind of get a look at it kind of get an idea of it. It's very compact. It actually does an inverted uh, fold. 
and uh, it's a trigger um, release. So when I push the button, it actually pops up without me having to extend it. So for me, only having one hand for streaming is very handy. They see me, tell them to come over and say hello. favorite one of the new ones is just look at this. She's so pretty. She's got little antlers on. A mini reindeer. Of course, that's all of our holiday stuff. Of course, then you've got yourself your butter bar. Now, bulldogs, especially English bulldogs, are my brother's favorites. Gotta love an, an English bulldog. Oh, pardon me, guys. English bulldogs are just hilarious. Their personalities are so fun. Hog defenses, Xavier, my Siberian Husky, loves to sit in my lap. When I get home from streaming all day long, if I'm, I'm I got to start working on other stuff like getting you know videos and pictures ready on social media and things like that. She always sits there and waits for me to give her attention, and it's usually never enough. Has anyone ever complained about your umbrella while any of the parks? Um, I've had certain people who have at, at times made comments or like, you know, quietly uttered something when we're waiting for a parade or something to start. Now, mind you, I try to keep my umbrella up and out of the way to not to block anybody's view. But not really had any problem. And oftentimes I, when I'm going through, especially on really, really hot days, when I use it for sun protection, I see other people doing it too. So now I'm also on the tall side, so I don't hit very many people with my umbrella. But not really any complaints. The only, I, let's put it this way if anyone ever complains about your umbrella, but they have a balloon tied to their stroller that continually whacks you upside the head that entire time you're waiting, that ka dunk, ka dunk, ka dunk, ka dunk, ka dunk, ka dunk. Kadunk, 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 kadunk. Then you know, just smile at them. <laughs> and for all of you guys who are watching on closed captioning, kadunk, 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 kadunk. Everybody's turning off their mute now, going, "What in the world is going on?" Now, I hope that all of you uh, who are part of the community who are here this past week and weekend are coming back in for the first time, the first live stream since getting home. I hope this helps with your post the Disney depression. We think it helps. We hope it helps you. Another great thing to do is to go ahead and have your next Disney trip plan. So if you guys haven't done so already, you know you want to come to Disney. 
either in 2022 or 2023, reach out and let us know how we can help you book and plan your next trip. Knowing that you won't pay us a single penny for travel services. Did you guys know that it doesn't cost anything to use a travel agent? Susan and I are travel nation travel agents. We send no invoice to our clientele and they pay the same price as if they book directly with Disney, but they have a personalized agent who can answer their questions and help them with the small things that they might not necessarily want to have to call and wait on hold to get answers for elsewhere. And the great thing is, is when promotions do come out, if they are available for your, for your stay, we'll get them out. We'll get them applied to your uh, reservation. We'll also tell you from a first person standpoint, what we think might be a good option for you to consider. And if you're on a tighter budget, we want to make sure that you guys make the best use of what it is that you have on your vacation by letting you know where you can save a little bit of money here and there. So reach out and send us an email and let us know when you'd like to come, whether it be for the Christmas holidays here, which is still available for 2022. First for the Festival of the Arts coming up in January. Or even if you'd like to go to the Mardi Gras period for Universal Studios, just let us know when you'd like to go, what you'd like to do, who's coming with you, and uh, we'll be glad to get you a quote and help you book and plan that trip. And thank you guys for giving us a chance to earn your business. All right, I'm sorry, but that right there is that's cute. Aloha! I've not seen that one before. He's adorable! Welcome in, Dan! Well, Dan, as far as I'm concerned, you are walking with us. That's kind of way we do our streams. We don't do it like everybody else does. Our streams are not about the rides. They're not about the food. They're not about anything other than the people who are hanging out and watching the streams with us. So welcome in. As far as I'm concerned, you're standing right here with me. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't mean to step in your foot, Dan. I'm kind of clumsy that way. I apologize. Glad to have you in. And watching from Jersey, uh, I'd like to introduce you to every single one of your neighbors because they're all here. <laughs> We're starting off Jersey week here. Thank you guys for taking a couple of seconds and hitting that thumbs up today. 650 likes. That means that 650 people have taken a couple of seconds to hit the thumbs up and say, yes, YouTube, send us some more people like Dan to have some fun with us in the park. So thank you guys for the thumbs up today. So Brian, let me let us double check to make sure. First of all, lots of times, sometimes we get lost in our emails and the way it gets sent back and forth. And if you guys have ever sent us something we have not replied back, let us know. Because especially this past week has been uh, a little overwhelming between doctor's visits, uh, birthdays, holidays, races, and everything else. So we're so sorry that we haven't gotten back to you already. And we'll, we'll have to double check to make sure, first of all, that it didn't go into a junk folder and sometimes when we respond it goes back into everybody else's junk folder so if you guys do ever request something and you're like what is wrong with these guys I can't get them to answer please let us know knock on our door and just go hey what's up guys and <laughs> we'll make sure to get back in touch with you so thank you for the reminder Brian Welcome man Don with Disney. I love these guys. Go sit down and drink Oh my gosh. Speaking of Mr. Toad. 
Welcome in, Don. I love the fact that we've got our holiday garland in here as well. Some of our 50th items you can buy. Says, can you look back at the Thomas Kincaid's in the back? Sure. Right over here, Thomas Kincaid's. No problem. Oh, pardon me, go ahead. All of these square canvases are Five Islanders? Wow, you have a lot better self-control than I do. So Mama Rail Tail, is that the uh, same Tiki statue? Yes, that's the same one we talked about in a Epcot stream last week. This little guy right here. Yeah, I'm sorry, but if you uh, have you ever sold anything in Florida and tried to use that money to buy it in California, you're going to be sorely disappointed. It's funny, Susan used to work when we uh, lived in Santa Clarita in the Los Angeles area, and she worked uh, as a uh, with a broker, realty broker. People all the time would sell their half million dollar homes in the Atlanta area. Very, very nice homes, half million dollar properties. You know, this was, you know, two decades ago. And they'd come over to California going, all right, I have a half million dollars. And uh, what kind of mansion can I get here in the LA area? <laughs> Every time they're like, yeah, well. Doesn't quite translate the same way, does it? Travel Adventures, thank you so much for hanging out with us today in the parks. Have an amazing day. Hopefully we can join us tomorrow at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna be taking a closer look at the Christmas decorations over there. We'll see you guys tomorrow in the parks. It does have good AC. Not as good as the uh, 
the theater at the front of the park. That theater, the uh, where they have the um, 50th merchandise. That, that air conditioner up there is awesome. Hey, and if you guys ever have anything you'd like to share with us and send to us here, a little bit of magic mail, and please know we do have a P.O. box. We'd be glad to receive and check. Send us packages over at the address listed on the screen. And uh, all anything we ask that if you do not want us to share what you send to us on stream or on our accounts, just let us know. While we can't share everything, what we don't want to do is take something of a personal nature and share it in the public area. So, But as we get magic mail, opportunity arises. We do like to share it out and let everybody else see it too. You guys want to say hi to Pinocchio? See if we can get Pinocchio to talk to us today. No, that's fine. This is a perfect distance right here. Do you guys have a Magic Band Plus? No. So I'll see if we can get Pinocchio to talk while you guys are sitting there having snacks. <laughs> We'll try one more time. I'm gonna give it a little shake and see if I can get him to say hello. You usually have to wait about wait about 30 minutes or 30 seconds to a minute before in between. We've been waiting for them to change over. They they some of the characters up front used to say happy Halloween just for October. So we're hoping we're gonna get some uh, holiday messages here soon. Come on, Pinocchio. Come on, one more time. I guess not. He's got no strings, but he also has no stamina. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good afternoon. But right, now it does it. Hang on one more time. There it's going to buzz. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Man, that was surprising. She almost dropped her Mickey bar when he started talking to her. So look at our crowds here today. Uh, we may not be getting on very many rides without the use of Genie Plus or waiting in a long standby. I'll look and see if I can find something else for us to ride today. See what our wait times are at the moment. We'll go through and do a uh, standby roundup here. Starting at the front of the park, we're showing 45 minutes to meet Mickey and Minnie, which is not too bad. 35 minutes for the live floor, 50 minutes for Space Ranger Spin. 30 minutes for People Mover, 5 minutes for Carousel of Progress, an hour for Astro Orbiter. That's nothing to sneeze at right there. 80 minutes, just shy of an hour and a half for Space Mountain. 40 minutes for Tomorrowland Speedway. Half an hour for the Mad Tea Party. An hour, no joke, an hour for Dumbo! Wow, would you guys stand in line for an hour for Dumbo? 45 minutes for the Barnstormer. To see. Two hours and 15 minutes for Seven Doors Mine Train. 30 minutes for Winnie the Pooh. 40 minutes to meet princesses for meet and greets. 25 minutes for the carousel. 25 minutes for Philhar Magic. An 80 minute wait for Peter Pan's flight which surprisingly is shorter than some of the others. 
rides, which is normally one of the longest, if not the longest. 40 minutes for It's a Small World. 50 minutes for Mahanan Mansion. Over in the far west, 40 minutes for Big Thunder Mountain, which is rather low considering. Uh, just five minutes shy of an hour for uh, our Splash Mountain. Same time for Pirates at 55 minutes. 30 minutes for the Magic Carpets ride, which is funny because it's basically a Dumbo ride, but it's half the time. Half the time. And over in our Jingle Cruise, where we started out this morning, is now at a 90-minute wait. And you can see this is our crowds for today. I think people watched it and then it was done. A lot of people didn't care for it. It got some polarized reviews overall. I thought it was okay. I liked the, the nods they had to the original. But they did change some things. It wasn't necessarily the same thing. It can be hard. I mean, doing a 60 minute wait for a Dumbo. We're talking about, you know, two minutes of spinning. Exactly, Ricky. We're only getting started. Adam says it's a Dumbo is a must do. It's a classic. Yes, it has been redone in a modernized version, but still. Yeah, it smells good too, Dan. It smells real good. You can almost smell the salt and the butter on it. Vicky, how are you doing, Vicky? So I feel like I've been, I haven't seen a lot of you guys in so long because we had very uh, strange schedules last week. Last Thursday and last Friday was all race centered. All with the expo on Thursday and Friday, you know, we streamed at five o'clock in the morning. So we were already completed streaming by the time some of you guys and the rest of the country had even woken up. So it's good to see you guys again. Amy, yes, we had our plant based moon burger over at Cosmic Race. Actually, I liked it. I gave it a good four out of five. I needed a bigger tomato though. Hey, when you're having something plant-based, you at least give me a good tomato. Mama Rail Till says, can we do another pirate scavenger hunt? Would you guys want to try another one? We did a uh, pirate scavenger hunt last week. There are several different ones. We can definitely do one again if you'd like. If you'd like. Welcome in, Jacob. Are you coming from Jersey? Because your friends already are here. They're waiting for you. Welcome in, Jacob. Travel safe. Here, I'm going to pop over into the trading post just to see if there's anything new or different we can share with you guys. Don't forget, if you are a regular here on our channel, all five of our streams are up, even though the last two are generic at the moment. We're waiting to see what the weather's like to make sure we finalize it. But all of our channel streams for uh, this week are up, and if you guys would like to help us out by getting us to 100 likes on all of our streams this week, we would greatly appreciate the couple of seconds to do so. 
Of course, today we're here at the Magic Kingdom. Tomorrow we're going to be at Hollywood Studios. Wednesday we're going to be back over the Grand Floridian. You see the grand opening of the gingerbread house over there. Thursday, we're thinking we're going to go to Animal Kingdom. I'm waiting to hear and see what the weather is going to be like to make a final determination on that for now. I've got a uh, generic one set up. And then Friday, looks like we're going to take you guys over to the Contemporary to see the uh, to see the gingerbread house over there. Again, all of these streams are already up and set. We just need 100 of you guys to take a couple of seconds and hit the likes on those and get us to 100 likes on each so that YouTube will start to share it out and invite some new friends with us today. That's what's locked on the Lord of it. Welcome in, Diane. They do. There's actually two sets of ears we've seen so far. One of them is uh, clear plastic filled ears with little white pellets that look like snow. And they have a light teal blue as their band. And then the other is a very nice ornate white ears with uh i think um a very nice bow in the middle it's actually 54.99 for those so they're a little bit on the nicer side hi oh sure come on I totally missed you. How are you doing today? Are you doing, it's, it's busy. Yes, very. Have you, have you knocked anybody over yet? Because I feel like I've been running into people all morning long. <laughs> no, I've been trading pins with somebody. Oh, cool. Are you, do you like to trade pins? I noticed you got your lanyard on. You been doing any good trades today? I got yes, on my hand. I just, I just changed it now. And what else? I love, to, I love to see. Anything in particular you like to collect? Oh, you got two tinks. All right, two tinks. Awesome. And you just and you just want to say hello to everybody in the chat today? Oh, of course. Glad you could do. So, I uh, I just go. I'm just getting. I get lost when I get into the pins. I go looking around. All because if you can see, I get. I could just look at pins all day long. I get lost in them sometimes. So. Have you ever seen a Duffy pin? It has been a while since I've seen a Duffy one. So I actually got to see Duffy on Friday. He was on the 5K race course, oh, really? and I didn't get to stop and get a picture with him, but he was actually here. I'm like, that's pretty rare because he doesn't get to come around anymore, but he was on the race course in Epcot. My, grand, my daughter got a, a tattoo on it. Uh-huh. And it's got uh, initials. Initials? He, he passed when he was Oh, sorry to hear that. He's been going, well, he'd be 17 now. So, but, and the, uh. I saw, I actually, I, you know, I didn't get to meet Duffy. I get to watch, uh, it was like a, I think he was either four or five years old. He was running with his parents uh -huh. and he got to meet Duffy. Uh -huh. And Duffy reached down and they got a picture with him and it was just, the, it was the cutest thing. Yeah. And there was a long line because everybody wanted to meet Duffy because you don't ever get to see him. So, right. so, but no, well, I hope uh, you're going to be here for the week. Uh -huh. So, well, yeah, we just, I, we first day. It's a busy one, so well, enjoy. Thank you so much for saying hi. It's good to see you. And uh, get some more uh, Tinker Barrel pins. <laughs> she, I couldn't hear her. She was trying to get my attention. I'm over here just like looking at all the pins. She's like, are you gonna hear me? I'm like, I didn't know you were there. I'm so sorry. Now I'm just thinking, look at the, uh, the Aristocat pins. Try not to get in the shadow. So we're still 36 away from hitting our triple digits on Friday stream. So if you guys haven't had an opportunity to do so so far, we would love it if you guys could help us out. It's all about fighting YouTube's algorithms.
So thank you guys for that. Oh, she's having a bagel time and she's still collecting her Tinkerbell pins. How cool is that? I hope that when I get much older that I can uh, still have fun run, running into the parks and doing that kind of stuff as well. So, get some more Tinkerbells. <laughs> Good to see you. My uh, daughter, when she first started pin trading many, many years ago, uh, got it in her head that she was going to get all the orange bird pins. And uh, she got many of them. And then something happened to her pin trading book. She had an entire book full of pins. She spent a lot of time getting all of her orange birds. It was very traumatic when we could not locate her book. We don't know if it happened in, in the parks or in traveling, but suddenly we couldn't find her pin book. Buzz a Tron, good afternoon and welcome in. Yes, are you You know what we're gonna do? We wanna get ways. I'll say this. Let's put it this way. Uh, we are thinking about doing twelve days of giveaway. Uh, instead of just ends. Work with um, yeah. we love to work uh, with uh, other business and possibly go away some cool Disney related items. Um, if you know one or yourself on a small business that makes Disney related items that others would join, reach out to us and let us know. I'm thinking uh, it would be really cool to uh, help promote others' businesses uh, with a 12 days of Christmas giveaway. Always going to do that. All right, so we're going through Adventureland. The cell signal is really atrocious right here with so many people in the parks. I'm going to take a quick second to do a refresh, and I will be back with you guys in just a moment. I don't know. 
Adventure. It is super in here. See if we can get out of adventure land. Because I'll tell you what, I have hard to maintain connection today over in this area. So I don't even know if you guys saw this. I saw a family coming into the backdrop for the photos. They had all had matching shirts. Obviously, they're a big family coming together. I offered to take their picture for them so nobody has to be left out. They thought I was a photo pass photographer, but I didn't look quite right. I'm like, no, 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 I don't work for Disney. And uh, I asked them, I said, where are you guys from? They're like, Jersey. I'm like, no, that's crazy. Really? It would be cool to know exactly how many people we have from Jersey here today. So today has been a challenge, but obviously we've officially started Jersey Week. Northeastern area of the country, 
where school is out for a week for training. family just walked by many of them they all have on their shirts for their family vacation it's cute they're all wearing the green shirts they're all sparkly ready for the holidays and it says disneyland christmas vacation 2022 oh So silly so it's not a group trip from New Jersey. That area of country synonymously has school out. <laughs> school trips and stuff like that. It happens every uh, either jury week or family name. <laughs> I'll use the other name. But there's not a jury week place. And it's really messed with our signal today, too. Yeah, it was very close. All right, let me get away from Main Street. I'm glad we got in early. Jingle Kurt's first thing this morning. All right, for the other attractions, expect at least an hour, close to an hour. I guess they fall. Just gone. Nothing. Keep trying, guys. A lot of fun, and I think we're proud of And then the
There's tons of people everywhere. So, uh, sorry guys, it's just one of those kind of days. Exactly, the more people that are in, they're all streaming, they're all doing stuff. It's gonna work, it gets a little harder and harder. Thank you guys for helping us get to 700 today. I'm gonna pop in here and see if it makes any difference at all. By the way, for now, 40% off of auto box cases that are normally 60 or $70. So a few Disney cases to choose from. Well, it has definitely been a challenge today, Mama Rail Teal. We haven't had this much trouble in months. So hopefully it's just a kind of a one-time thing. We'll see what happens. Until then, we keep on swimming. Keep on swimming. Welcome in, Eleanor. Vape, Ray Vape, Ross Vape, how are you doing? Yes, I do. I need Mickey ears for Wi-Fi repeaters. <laughs> it sounds good. I'll go with that. Yeah, I tried to go into the uh, tree house, and the tree house is like, nope, you're not coming in here. Not if you want to keep your signal. It's actually less crowded in here than it is out on the sidewalk. These are Susan's favorite ears at the moment. I told her, I said they feel kind of like Coraline-ish to me. But I think she likes the felt ill ears. He's cutie. The regular is an upside, uh, pineapple upside down cake. Barely, Kathy. I tell you what, signal's been extremely rough on me today. Not sure if it's a uh, cellular issue or what's going on. Definitely having some trouble today. So somebody earlier had asked about Christmas ears. If you're still on, I'll show you what the Christmas ears look like. A couple of options to choose from. I would love to live in your complex. I wouldn't have to deal with all the leaves in my yard. I do not miss what we had to do back in Atlanta, Hotbox Ghost. For every year, we'd have to, we'd have because we had about a third of an acre, which is not huge, but it was a third of an acre property, all wooded in the back, leaves everywhere. What was really bad was we had some really big trees on our neighbors across the street and the way the wind blew every single year they never picked up their leaves they never touched their leaves because they knew if they just left them along long enough they would blow into our yard so every year i had to not only rake and dispose of our leaves i also had to do the same thing for our neighbors across the street and we're not talking one house but two different houses it was, it was crazy good afternoon alex how are you Are the parks still being decorated? Uh, they are not done with all of the parks, but they are done with the Magic Kingdom. We still have Animal Kingdom being worked on. And of course, Epcot is not gonna get its full treatment until later on in the season, closer to where uh, food and wine is done. And they'll start getting ready for the festival of the holidays. So not everything is done, but in the Magic Kingdom, we're pretty much finished.
Have I ever shoveled snow? I've, you know what? I've never had to do a full snow shovel. The worst I've had to do is um, when I did business trips to Denver, I would have to uncover my car every day. So I did a little mini shovel, so to speak. So earlier in the day, we showed you guys the new Disney Nuimos 12 day advent calendar, 12 different Nuimos. It's $150, $149.99. The only two sneak peeks we get, there's a Mickey and a Minnie in there, but we have no idea what the rest of them look like. Of course, we've got our holiday train down there as well. And we had somebody earlier ask about our our ears. So let me show you guys some of our options. We have two ears to choose from. The first pair being very uber elegant and shiny. We've got our red glitter bow, our satin with rhinestones, I guess you could say all over it. And our metallic holly berry leaves and pearls. That is $54.99 for this one right here, $54.99. And if you look on the inside, I believe it says bubble bar. Yeah, which is why they're a little bit more expensive than the normal ears. So designer ears there. And then we've got our snow ears over here as well. Let me show you the snow ears. These are our snow ears. Mickey and Minnie. Plastic. They have a little bit of snow inside of them. And these are the normal price of the ears. A little bit of the mint. Green mint, spearmint looking color. And I believe these are the new price of $34.99. An increase, our, our normal price of years has gone up just here recently. Julia says, I like them, but the ears seem too far apart. Could it be the uh, bow in between, maybe? We got ourselves a candy cane Mickey wearing his collegiate sweater. If you're wondering where the sweater came from, Ron's mother made them for everybody. We even have Chippendale. Inside their stockings. Oh, Antonio, only in the after the season's over. Prices never go down, they only ever go up. <laughs> no, that was that was uh that was added. And I didn't get a chance to show you this, guys, last week. I'd actually started making my way over here, and I got distracted, which, you know, with my mind is easily to do. We've got ourselves our Hanukkah. Mickey and items over here as well. Mickey with his dreidel. Gold rim glass, $17.99. And our Festival of Light shirts. It says Happy Hanukkah on this leaf. And of course, gift tags. For all those nights of gift giving.
Now, I didn't get to show you guys when I saw it yesterday, but there is a Groot Holiday plush. We'll be over at Hollywood Studios tomorrow. I know that where it is over there in the superhero store at the Clothiers. So tomorrow I'll have to show you guys that. Remember, tomorrow we're going to be over at Hollywood Studios to show you guys all of the Christmas decor. Wednesday, we're going to be back over at the Grand Floridian to show you guys the gingerbread house as it's being opened up for the first time this season on Wednesday. Thursday, we are tentatively scheduling for Animal Kingdom and tentatively scheduling for Friday at the Contemporary. But you'll notice when you go to those streams, right now they do not have a specific thumbnail. We're going to look at the weather, see how things progress, and then we'll figure out how and if we can do any streams for Thursday and Friday. But for now, all of those streams are up on our channel. If you guys are regulars of ours here on the Magic Crew and have not done so already, earlier we were about 36 likes away on Friday from hitting 100. If we haven't already hit the triple digits, we'd love it if you guys can take a couple of seconds and get us there today. I wish they had a little bit more, but I'm glad that they have some. Tyler's like, I'm watching Hamster and Gretel. The, the latest Dan Povermeyer. That's great humor. I want to watch more of it. It is extremely busy, Salt Lake Snow Bunny. Extremely busy. Salt Lake Snow Bunny, what is the most money ever spent on a Disney product? Would you like me to show you? How about I show you? I mean, I could tell you about it, but how about I just show you? We're here, and I appreciate you asking some questions. Oh, look, the Dapper Dan's are out. Look at their outfits. What if, what if they smell like peppermint? I bet they do. All right, so let's make our way over, and I want to show you the most expensive item you can buy as a Disney souvenir here in the parks. We're going to make our way on over to this store right in front of us at the Crystal Arts. And if you guys are just popping in today, good afternoon and welcome. We are live from the Walt Disney World Resort here in the Magic Kingdom today. And we're glad that you could hang out with us here on Main Street. Do us a favor if you're having a good time today. Don't forget to take a second to put your thumbs up. Hit the like button. And Salt Lake Snow Bunny says, what's the most expensive item on a Disney product? This is not the most one. This is not the most expensive, but we'll, I'm going to get you there. Our castle, castle here, filled with crystals. This one right here has a price tag of $49,500, right at $50,000. That's pretty. But it's not even the most expensive. Bring you guys right over here. Now I heard they have a special. If you buy one, you get the second one ten percent off. Uh -huh. <laughs> so if anybody wants to go in on one, let me know. We can if save. I have enough money to buy one. <laughs> That's our shiny castle order uh, and priced at a quarter of a million dollars. You 
He's got only the shiniest and sparkliest item here that you can purchase. It's also the most expensive. Well, I, uh, Ear to Ear Magic is our blog, so we do um, we do live streams from the park, like yeah. every weekday, and uh, watched my fair share in the last six months uh -huh. or so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope if you have, I hope we would have been helpful. Absolutely. So. And this is our second trip since August, so it's going to help a lot. Oh, awesome! Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the decorations. Awesome. And if you get a, if you get a chance to ride a ride today, I don't know. <laughs> Enjoy. Progress. I have a fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean after awesome. lunch. I'm just going to go from there. Sweet. Enjoy. So our uh, lovely prize here, $250,000. Who wants one? You know, Candy Tink, if I won... A power ball. I don't. I think there's a lot more things I could do with a quarter of a million dollars, but who knows? Carol's like, it's glittery. You'd have to. I think it comes with a free pair of sunglasses, so you can actually look at it. Man, you're no fun, gallery man. What's funny is you should see the bag it comes in when you take it home in. <laughs> it comes with a really nice plastic bag. A really nice plastic bag. I like the... <laughs> That's what I say. Two of these and I could buy a house to put it in. <laughs> Exactly, Frank. Exactly. Nope. Just crystals. Just crystals. Well, I'll look at it this way. If you have enough money to spend on a uh, $250,000 castle, you probably have a little extra to buy a cabinet. Imagine, Becca. Can you imagine? Holly Pocket. All right. I, I think they're going to wait to sell one before they figure that out. It's kind of one of those, we'll cross that bridge when it gets here. So you could get five of those, or one of those. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute pleasure to spend this morning and early afternoon with you guys. I hope that we have got your week started off well. And I hope that whether your week was already going splendidly or you needed a little extra pixie dust, we hope that your being in our streams today helped out with whatever the need was. Appreciate you guys for all that you've done to support us here and allow us to do more and to share more with our friends and our communities as we continue to grow here at Ear to Ear Magic. If this is the first time you've ever joined us here on our channel, we'd love before you leave today to hit that subscribe button, become a part of the Magic Crew, and come and join us every weekday, Monday through Friday, as we explore the parks here at Walt Disney World and Universal Orlando Resorts, especially as we go through and get ready to go into this Christmas holiday season as we start to explore a lot of the resorts. 
and get to do some night streams here and there as well. So I'm looking forward to doing that with you guys. It's going to be a great, great season. That wind. Love it, though. Feels really good. As always, guys, if we can be of any assistance to you whatsoever when it comes to planning and going to your next vacation, wherever it may be, whether it's Disney, Universal, or taking cruises, we would love for you guys to reach out to us and send us an email at Susan Edwards at TravelMation.net, Chris Edwards at TravelMation.net, and let us help you out with quotes, pricing, and helping to book and plan your vacation. The greatest and easiest way to support us here as a channel is to support our small business as an independent consultant with Travelmation Travel Agency. We help you guys without charging you any fees. And by you booking with us, you help us to build our business and we can build our channel as well in the same way as we can continue to share more and more. So reach out to us and send us an email today. Let us know how we can help you book and plan your next vacation. Finally, guys, one last thing I always like to ask of anyone who comes to our streams. If you've had fun today, if you've had a smile, if you've had a laugh, if you've had just a chance to take a break from the stress of the reality that you find yourself in every single day like myself, I hope that somehow today, either through somebody that you know or a complete stranger you may come across, that you'll take a chance to share the magic a little bit and be the sunshine in somebody else's day, whether it's a smile, a laugh, or compliment to someone else. Be that sunshine and give an opportunity for someone else to enjoy and have a little bit of a start to their week as well. Something positive, something friendly. We just want you guys to know that we want you guys to go out and take what you get here and share it with others as well. What a beautiful castle. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for having us some fun with us today. FM Ever After, thank you. Hope you have a great day over at Epcot. Maybe I'll see you a little bit later today. Who knows? Josh R., I hope that we control only what we can control. But I hope that when you guys are looking for some Disney fun here at weekdays, you know you can count on us to be here. Captain Good Guy, thank you so much for watching. Eddie, good to see you guys. Greatly appreciate you guys being a part of what we do. You know, Salt Lake's no money. This one's probably cheaper than the one I just showed you. Who knows? <laughs> oh, Lauren, I'm so sorry you missed it. I will say go back and watch the first part of the stream. You guys can watch all of our streams and replay. And we got to ride the Jingle Cruise first thing this morning. So go back and watch that and catch that before you go out anywhere else today. And if you watch the stream right now and you let it close, it will automatically take you to tomorrow's stream. And you can go ahead and give that a like and uh, get ready for tomorrow's stream as well. So looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios. And can't wait to see you guys in the parks. You guys have an amazing day, a great afternoon, and a magical, most magical afternoon. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.